What's good? J. Lou, what up? Banks, what up, though? Detroit in the building. The Bonner was good. Hit that like button when y'all walk in. I'm not gonna make y'all wait. Y'all come in and, and and get off. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hit that like button, man. Jay Lou, what up? Man, this is bullshit, bullshit. man. Right. This is crazy, man. I didn't even watch this whole game, bro. From the first quarter, bro. I'm just looking at these dudes like, what is going on? It's nasty, right? They throwing the ball away. LeBron running into motherfuckers. I'm looking like, what the fuck? Bro, like, they out there looking like a high school team. Like, no lie, bro. Like, no lie. I'm like, what? Like, Bro, I never seen anything like this, bro. Like where you just turn the ball over, no defense, leaving three pointers wide open. Like, bro, I don't know what to tell you, Kareem. This is crazy, man. Three pointers. Yeah, it's crazy, right? This is crazy. I man, <laughs> I never seen that like it. This is crazy, bro. Yeah, it's it, bro. With a roster like that, it happens like that. Man, man. I mean, like, they started to come back in the third quarter, and then in the fourth, like, they were right there. Like, they were down by four. They were right there, and then out of nowhere, some, like, weird shit just started happening. I'm like, oh, my God. That's the crazy part. Out of nowhere, it just, it's like they just, I thought, I said at least it's going to be a good close game. I said down the wire, I want to see what this team made of. It just went left. Man, all oh, I was man, and then uh, when Bron had that legal screen, and then DJ Augustine hit the three, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, they I, needed that three, you're right, man. You're right, that was big. That was a big play. I was like, what the oh, man? This is crazy, bro. That was big. You're right. I'm like, man, I yeah, don't know, that, man. That play was big right there. I don't. I don't even think AD gonna be enough. No, no. At this the, point, uh, I believe some of the problems are we don't have any defense, and this team is too small, bro. You're small, right? Too small. Like the biggest motherfucker out there, what Bron and Gabriel and Dwight, and other than that, you know, AD. But man. I don't know. But Man, we was better tonight though. Huh? That's why it was better tonight. What you said the effort? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, bro, they were right. Bro, they were down by four points. They were right there, bro. Right there. They were right there. Then well, I think what happened? Uh I think they came down, hit a three. And then I think the Lakers missed a shot, and then the Timberwolves came back down, hit another three or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. The, the Timberwolves, man, it seemed like that's just a little too much for us, man. 
Man, 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 they lucky old dude ain't played that uh, Nas Reed dude. He pretty solid. Yeah, they could have used him too, cause uh, Nathan uh, Knight ain't, ain't that good. No, I think Nas Reed was injured. I seen yeah, him with some clothes on. He uh, had his regular clothes on. Yeah. Damn, man, this. I don't it's, know. He, he said, uh, "Vogel substitution pattern is jacked up." Let's get the likes up. You, 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 how you like his substitution pattern? Mm. Andrew, you want you can come come through. I dropped the link for everybody who want to come through. Here's the link right here, bro. It's like, bro, it's like watching this team, bro. Like sometimes I be thinking, bro, I be like, is like, are are they like doing this shit on purpose? Like, are they like just sabotaging the season, bro? Because I can tell when when some shit is going on in the game and, and, and it's bullshit and you just looking like what the fuck? Yeah. Man. Man, it's bro, we man, they let go of all defense for offense and can't stop nobody. That's sad, man. And we ain't outscoring nobody either. Man. Should have never got Westbrook, man. We should have just Man, we's better off keeping Kuzma. I mean, I'm damn near. And KCP, uh, we probably could have got rid of Montrez Harrell, but should have kept Caruso. Man, bro, we let all the defense go, bro. That's crazy. Well, but the thing is, oh, man, I, I can't recall it. <laughs> it's bad, man. It's bad. They'll fuck around and lose to a shit a college team. That's shit. That's why I said I think Braun should um anybody want to come in, y'all come through. That's why I said I think Braun should have uh sat out. Cause it's like it, it didn't make a difference. He had a bad game tonight. He played real bad tonight. What you think? Man. Yeah, he played bad. Cause what? What he finished with? What about like what? Nineteen, I think, or yeah, I think, maybe. I think nineteen. But it's not just the points; it's just overall. He, I yeah, think, he, I think his defense was a little better tonight than it normally was. Yeah, man, he was turning the ball. Man, that that play in the first quarter, LeBron, he just came down and just like try to run over like three dudes. They caught an offensive foul. I'm looking like, bro, why would like? What makes you just think to just go down the court and run over people? I don't. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I, I do not get that it. Play. It looked like he lost the ball and lost control. He couldn't. He couldn't slow down. Yeah, it was. I'm just like, damn, man. But Kareem down twenty in the first half. Vogel puts in Stanley Johnson. What Russell Westbrook, Bradley. Who else? Dwight Howard and THT. That's horrible. Hey, you, 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 hey. I, you, uh, Andrew. Um, I think he could have like mixed the match a little better. I, I felt DJ Augustine should have been got in. Absolutely. I think too late. Absolutely, and he should have stayed in longer. Honestly, he rolling. You don't play him that much. He got legs. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie. I would have liked to see uh Gabriel at the four and Dwight at the five, Braun at the three. Um for some reason, bro, man, I man, you might as well just let DJ Augustine start. Put him at the point and put Westbrook at the two. Fuck I it. Agree. I agree. Fuck it. Or, you know, or just Brent. Malcolm, thank you for the donation, Malcolm. I appreciate bring the donation. Him, bring him off the bench at this point to me. Bring Russ off the bench. He leaving next year. Who cares? At this point, you got 10 games left. Bring as, soon as, as soon as DJ and Gabriel came, I would have started both of them. Yeah. To me, to me, I, it would have been to me, it would have been DJ, Russ, Braun, Gabriel, and Dwight. Fuck it. That's a solid starting five. You know, I mean, you got height. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know how to start Gabriel and DJ. Bring a, you need a new a new boost. Yeah. Yeah, man, in that um and that Austin Reeves and Monk starting. Nah, man. No, nah, yeah. man. They too little, man. They man, they too little, man. At, at least not together. One of them, one of the yeah. other. Man, man. Mm-mm. They they play hard to yeah, Elder. I I don't I don't I didn't say bench him. I said bring him off the bench. Six man. That's different than benching. That's different than benching. I, they have to do something. That's my problem with with everybody. Like Lakers, all of them. They have. This has been bad since the first half of the year, and they've done absolutely nothing. No changes. Nothing at all to to like mix it up to try and find something. That's the problem. They got to do something. Fire somebody. Do something. And then, like, the thing with Westbrook, like, as an athlete, man, you just got to know when your time is about, you know, it's about to be over with. Like, you know, Westbrook, you know, he should have just manned up. You know, he should have been the bigger person and say, you know what? For our team to win, I'm gonna come off the bench. You know, like I don't see the problem. Thank like, thank you. Like, bro, you don't have it anymore, bro. Thank you just you. don't have it anymore. Like, like, what's so hard to realize that? Thank you. You know, at least you, you like, can lock <laughs> into that role. You say your role keep changing. Well, let's lock you into this role. You come off the bench. You give us effort points. That's what we want. Man, yeah, Pat Bev was disrespectful out there. He always, he always front running though. Pat Bev is a front runner. He don't talk a lot when he losing. Yeah. But, but I mean, they got to do something with Russ. I, I mean, who cares at this point? Who are, they, who are you protecting? His brand? No. Do something. He should be fined every time he shoots a three-pointer. He Thanks should be fined. The- hold, hold one second. Thank you, Malcolm, again. Appreciate it. Malcolm dropping that donation. I really appreciate that, bro. Go ahead. No, nah, I'm saying every time Russ shoots a three, they should find him. They should find man, him it, fifty thousand for every three point he take. <laughs> man, it's like it's like his jumper is broke. Like like when he shoot, like he don't flick his wrist, he don't follow through or nothing. He just you know just throw it up and it brick. I'm like, damn, bro! Like you have to follow your shot through, bro. Come on. Yeah, I, I think he a, he's a like a super rhythm player. Like he has to be like, he has to be feeling it to make that shot. He's not a pure shooter. So he's never gotten a rhythm this year. He's never got his confidence up. So Ooh. he can't make that Russ. Yeah. It's confidence to shot. It's shot. He, he never gotten a rhythm this year. You know, if he was in a rhythm and feeling confident, he can make a few of them three pointers, you know, but he never got it this year. It's over for him as a Laker. He might come back next year and be old rest or somewhat similar, but not as a Laker. It's it's a wrap. Yeah, I don't think that's a Laker. I think I just think it's a bad fit, and I just think that uh, elsewhere he'd probably be better off. And you know what, Kareem, I was gonna say I love. I, I'm a fan. I'm a Bron fan. You know, but some of his body language, I don't like it. I got it. I've seen some of it. It's just to me, you can't go as being a leader. You can't do that but that's Dang. why I, I i say they should sit him because he i think he need to be recharged playing yes. a lot this, these games take a lot out of you physically and mentally mentally yes. when you get blown out and losing like this mentally yes. it's no good then physically he need lebron need to get recharged i agree i agree he he need to get but. recharged with recharge he you know things because we losing with him yes but I, that's part of that blame on Vogel. Now, now there's you can have the discussion on, you know, like like last night, who has the power? You know, is Braun out there on the floor calling all the shots? Like I'm gonna isolate. But like James Worthy was saying before I got on, like there's no offense. Their offense is give it to LeBron, spot up, cut a couple times, and hope he does something. Like there's no real legitimate plays that the Lakers have. Screen for LeBron at the top, roll, 
the couple of them, maybe he's the screener and he's the role. It's always involving him. There's no continuity in the offense. No, nothing. What up, her? But, but fam, this my thing. The year they won the chip, it was the same offense. Yeah, but you had AD out there. You had. Um, okay. Who, so you know that's what I'm saying? the problem. You, but but not only AD, you had Kuz. As much as we hate Kuz. Them niggas was stinking it up, man. No, no, in the last playoffs he was. But as much as we hate Kuz, Kuz would be like, forget Brian a couple times and make a dummy play and, and, and just go get it. And nah, sometimes it worked Kuz and stinks. sometimes it didn't. I agree with you. But, but and Danny Green, all them niggas was stinking it up that year. No, nah, well, it ain't work. But, but, no, but what he's saying, um, loyalty, Kuz would uh, take initiative. Yes. Yes. I mean, take initiative, but how many initiatives resulted in a like positive game? I mean, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But at least you got somebody out there that's trying to be. So we could say aggressive. the same thing for Monk. Nah. Huh? <laughs> nah Monk's, Monk's the J.R. Smith. No, a, but, he, no, but, I mean, but he, he take, I, we could say the same thing for Monk. Monk do take initiative. Yeah, like he do. I mean, I like. I'm not gonna say he had more good games than Kuzma in the last year, but right, he looked more like into games than Kuzma at times. Kuzma but, just, you know, he just one dimensional. But loyalty. Here's my here's my point in all of that. Mm -hmm. When you yep. say it worked on the championship, that's the point. They was winning with it. You're not. You've been losing with it. All right. The last man. some odd game. So, so let's you gotta talk change about it up. The problem. A D off. That's a big hit when your main two and everything is centered around that. Your your I, team is gonna take a hit. So all this like it's just pointing fingers and this the problem now. No, that's the problem. What up, these Larry? Are, these are the results of A D being out. He, he right. Of course, we Desmond still gotta Anderson. have dialogue and discussion <laughs> after, and we gonna keep searching because we gonna keep talking. But this is it, bro. You don't think that that they, there's a responsibility from the coaching staff to put some kind of different system in play to at least try it? I mean, I'm tonight saying do I felt something. they were good. I, I mean that that subbing. This was the most they subbed in Gabriel and Dwight. I mean, I didn't feel like this team was doing just doing whatever they wanted on Lakers as far as like Lake layups and whatever. Yeah, they outworked them at times, but they hit a lot of threes. And Lakers was two for thirty-two, so that was that's, a this. If this was one of them nights where LeBron was going off, we would have won this game. You feel what I'm saying? Like he can't yeah. afford to have an ugly game. But True, but still, I, I don't agree with the defense. I've seen a lot of plays. They they better than before. Any other time, and like he said, it was no easy layups. And, and Kareem, this is what people forget. And, and, and again, I always allude to I play basketball. Even when my team won on losing streaks, I never would play the team. We ain't win a chip. We always won. Whatever. My coach always preach. Even in losses, you get better. It's it's working towards get better. It's either with Lakers fans, but it's just like like hit or miss no you still gotta get better in your loss so tonight i saw things we got better at like moving forward to develop something to hopefully get some type of identity it ain't just scrap the whole starting five every time you lose that's what the lakers do it's like every that's what they've game, been doing yes it's a complete okay that didn't work let's try this or you don't never you you haven't given yourself a chance to work towards nothing you feel that's, me dwight I played tonight he might not play for six more games. And that's, that's why he be that's out my and point. not engaged. That that's true. my point. Yeah, that's bro. so true. But that's what the plays – that's what, Kareem, you know I've been saying this for the longest. Kareem, you know I've been saying from game <laughs> I, I'm, on, I'm bro. I'm going to get rid of Vogel fan. You got to get rid of – like, why? Like, and they, you can't I, say that's LeBron making that decision. I see LeBron frustrated. They got to get rid of Vogel. He's screaming at Austin. Yes. He's screaming. Like, that's LeBron frustrated with the rotation sometimes, too. I'm yes. telling you. But that, that's leave. true. It's no consistency. Like you said, Dwight might – well, who we play next? Uh, uh, Toronto, I think. The Raptors, Friday. Kareem, even if it's a small ball team, 
it's no definitive reason to go small. That don't mean just go small. No, no, I, I agree. No, I'm not saying against you. I'm just saying for the general people listening, that ain't like what you do. Oh, they small tonight. Let's team small. They still play their three bigs against us. Every team in the NBA do that. They don't go I small because it's a job. Follow the bigs. You can't follow. Like yeah. look, look at the six. Yeah. Six is playing to be. Yeah. Oh. Jokic playing, so they're not looking at oh, Jokic if I have a good game. No, you got to kill him. You look yeah, like. you make people adapt to your style, not right. adapt to because once you start doing that, Kareem, you you already in the loss. You feel me? You're not playing your game. So, mm-hmm. and now it's just a just and an uphill battle before the tip off even start. And that's how it looks with the Lakers. That's how you getting these jump out leads. They looking worse than they ever look. That's how you're not even putting a com- a, a competing product on the floor to begin with everybody's out of position so lebron not looking at he not getting re- he can't play his man help off then get the rebound then push then get the man the wide open shot tonight he did it he did a chase down remember that chase down block then he ran all the way down got the let that was crazy he was mad though that was lebron being mad but he can't sustain he took that's three the charges age. tonight yo that's crazy from a 37 year old bro that his effort was off the chain again tonight but that's and they the said age. bradley and i'm giving more effort. i don't see it i wouldn't play bradley another minute if i was a lady why yeah he, he had a couple spots tonight he, did, he had a couple he, good spots but i wouldn't that's over overall what we see out of him to me i don't know what everybody else love i love that's what i've been saying I don't Austin, see what Ab- Austin was the same. He had a dunk and he had a little three. Finally, he hit wide open. But Wayne Ellington hit two threes in a shorter sample size. So if we just using the space to floor, like he just eating up minutes. Man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like, that don't offset what he doing offensively, his defense or his effort. Bradley neither. This is what I was saying. Even oh. Stanley Johnson. They not definitive enough on defense to where it's like, all right, we can leave them guys in because they at least giving us stuff on offense. They just disappear out there. You feel what I'm at, saying? At it's least sad. you're playing with Bron to me. Like you can't play a Stanley Johnson and um who up and a Dwight High- Howard exactly with, some, with somebody together on the same yep. at the same time. You can't do that. You and can't. I promise you, fam. I've been saying that they was laughing when I brung up Gilbert Arenas. He was saying all this stuff, the combinations and all. Like, that's yep. why I knew it was true because he was speaking from a player who actually played. And so now the all game. this stuff is coming to fruition, like what he was saying. Like, it makes him look like a genius because they having those exact problems. Yeah. It's crazy. I like Augustine for his little time he i was wondering like why he all of a sudden not playing at all he was starting to play in the rotation getting the rhythm getting the feel for the offense then you don't play him for three quarters he get in for the i mean in the third quarter and then he explode he had good seven points that was a yep. good spurt like yeah his spurt was good yeah like even even kareem when he not scoring he always feel like he engaged or he a threat to drive or shoot that's what I'm saying. Or, like he looked like or a Or make a player. smart play. He's a yep. smart basketball player. Yes, that's sir. what the Lakers don't have a lot yep. of. Those. They don't have yep. a lot of smart basketball players. That's why they that's why they they'll they'll come back, they'll get within eight, and then next thing you know, they'll get down 20 again in mm-hmm. two minutes because they playing dumb basketball, dumb on defense, dumb on offense. They just play a, you know, they'll get back by hustle and, yep. and either LeBron will go off, but then they'll stay, start making dumb plays. Somebody doesn't rotate right. Somebody walk away from the man they guard and like they in eighth grade basketball. Like it's crazy. Like that's the basic state on the man you're guarding. Yeah. They don't understand they, the moment when we cut it down to uh, eight. That was LeBron fault, even though I don't feel that was an offensive um, foul, the um, screen. And then um, uh, the travel they caught that rep. Was Augustine called hit that three. He hit that three. That would have cut it to like four. That was a that was a big turnaround because they came back down with a three. Those momentum swings be so big, they ain't come back after that. That was an easy call, though. He, you know, he can't push your arm out. But like as that. a that's superstar, you can't. That's petty. They could call so much stuff during the game. Like I don't know. That's I, I'm just with a, you, but yeah. To me, that ref was called. I ain't. I, you know, I, I didn't. He was making a lot of calls. He, mm-hmm. he, he that I don't know his name. He was there was a lot of questionable calls that I was like, why is he calling all these right now? The travel yeah. on LeBron. I was like, uh, he definitely wasn't the travel. Nice game. Sport. What up? 
Yeah. He said Brian about to clean house. I agree. It, but I don't think I don't think he should. I think you should keep a a, a handful of these players just for chemistry's sake for next year. But I, I mean that that mentality is the Lakers problem. Every loss yep. is clean house. Every yep. loss is who we trade tonight. Every loss we point the finger. No, Nobody wants to should. talk about the solutions working towards what we need to do long term. Because yep. I, I look at the positive. If we healthy, AD get healthy, and miraculously somewhere none get back, and we get in a daily dose of even though Dwight ain't played too good tonight, he getting the rhythm and he playing Gabriel. I like Gabriel. For the time I like he him was too. In, he give us something I don't think we had. You feel, yep. I don't I don't think because when he switch off that guard, he could stay with him. He gets yep. scored on, but at least he's challenging and he yep. energetic. You feel what I'm saying? I keep him. I keep Monk. I keep mm-hmm. Rees. I might even keep THT. Um, I keep uh, Stanley Johnson, honestly, because my, my thing is if the people you re up with are solid, you know, one through eight, then that, the rest of the bench down, eight through 12, whatever. If we keep those guys, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Like they have that experience. Yeah. They have that reason to fight. I, I don't think you clean house like that. I think you keep the good five, six, seven players that you got and yeah, get Elder. rid of Russ. Go ahead, fam. You can finish. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say Elder. Now, can you say Avery, Bradley, Stanley, and, and Austin gave more effort than LeBron tonight? 37, three charges, man. Dudes don't get a charge in a 10 game span. Like, Come on, bro. His effort was crazy. Yeah, y'all going to point to stuff where they hit dagger threes. He don't get back. He's deflated, bro. Yeah. That shit is deflating. Hey. Elder, Elder, that's what I was saying with, with what you said about the rest and some of those calls and some of those. It's like it's like they are intentionally not calling fouls. Oh, yeah. LeBron, LeBron don't get no. Nothing. It's ridiculous, bro. They Me called a hip, a hip check nigga. foul. That's yeah. exactly Exactly. Yeah. They call the hip check foul on Bev and, and LeBron's getting punched in the head and they like they don't they looking the other way. It's bad out there. Yeah, they ready to get him out the league. They tired of refing LeBron. They tired of him complaining. They tired of yep. him always showing the ref gonna up, say that. Having yes. that power. You can yes. see it's definitive now. Yes. Yep. They don't want don't talk to me every after every call. I'm tired of you talking to me. Juan, All no, right. it's not. It was like that last year and the and the bubble same thing. They, he was he was complaining about that, the calls. They they went to the office. It's, it's, it's documented about him getting to the line. Yep, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. It, it, here, here's the difference, though. Remember, was it the Lakers that went to the league about it, or or Miami that like some one of the teams went to the league about it one year and was like, yeah, this was this. I think it was the bubble season, either the bubble season or last year. Like they, like they had the, videotape, like yo. Yeah, yeah. This ain't like they submitted tape. It was like nine games in or something like that. Yeah, it was the Lakers. It was the Lakers. Every time you're right. Uh, every time he goes to the rent, he could get a foul. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 even even the um dead ball situation where he's holding the way they allow him them to push up on yeah him and for reach, sure. Yeah. I'm like whoa. And then if he give a little physical, they are gonna call a foul on a charge on him or something. Yeah, it's bad man. For sure, it's bad. It's a defender. But you know what else, too, that doesn't help his case? Um, he's playing against a set D every time. So the ref looking yes. like, I'm not going to bail you out. It's not like in the motion of the offense. It ain't cutting. It ain't like nothing like KD coming off a screen and you go under it. Like, it ain't it ain't clear. So he isolating nine times out of ten. It's, it's going to be hard. But you know? There you go. That's the point I was making earlier about the yeah. offense. Yeah, you got to sure. do something different. You got to change yeah. it up, man. That's on the coaches. You gotta figure out some kind of play. Call, call Mike Shusevsky. He about to retire. Call, call Pop. Do Continuity, something. Continuity. Bring something. Yeah, yeah. I gotta have. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do bro. something. You got movement. to. Yo, I Can't literally keep... heard it was a game when um Kyrie and LeBron was uh when they was on the Cavs. They beat San Antonio. I think Kyrie went for like fifty, or maybe LeBron went for fifty, and another one had forty. One had fifty-seven. Pop said. If they beat us like that, hey, they did chant. We gonna let if they could beat us shooting miraculous. So that's how teams look at AD and LeBron. 
if they gonna yeah. have superstar nights every night, which is rare now, yeah. like Kyrie, KD, you gonna get the superstars do it on nightly basis and maybe two times out of a seven game series. But if they beat us playing that, they deserve to win. Teams can yeah. live with that style now. You crazy? <laughs> I'm the uh, Rusty. Yeah, they do all of them. All of them. I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of every single one of them need to go. Uh, every single. Uh, KD had 53 tonight. They the first pair that score 50 points back to back games. KD, but they KD. lost. Yeah, they lost tonight. Yeah, who they played? They. I don't even know, but they were saying something about KD not taking the last shot. He ain't clear. He duck. I don't know. I just saw. Oh, here they go. I hate, I hate that narrative. That's yeah. the. That's the. That's the. That's the yeah. world we live in, though. Like it's crazy. I like it now because they use it with other players. It used to be just LeBron. It used to be just LeBron, but so it's just you. Yeah. It's social media. Like yep. they didn't have that back when Jordan. Mm-hmm. I watched Jordan coming up. Jordan. Is remembered for the shots he made, not the mm-hmm. ones he missed. That's the difference. All passed up, or the ones he got. Or Max and ex- his big threes. Exactly. Against Phoenix, a- all I remember all them plays. I watched all them games. It, it what, was one. What, what job you talking about, Elder? He said, "Did would he hit a game winner?" Damn, that's for a who? game winner. Oh, uh, for Dallas. Yeah. Did would he hit one against Boston uh, a few days ago? We got them coming up again, back to back. He said, he said KD had 23. 23. Where, y'all get, where y'all get 50 from? Yeah, who said 50? Someone said 53. I just said 50. I don't know. I think it was something I saw on Facebook. I'm bugging. Desmond Addison yeah. said 50. 53. Oh, yeah. Somebody said he had 23. That's a, that's a big difference. I'm a little yeah, right no. I don't know what I just saw the first first pair that get 50 back maybe it, they was talking about oh no it probably was the other night when K, KD scored 50 and then Kyrie scored then he scored 50 the other night or something like that yeah KD yeah yeah and then Kyrie scored 60 so that's what the probably graphic was I I, I was just Which mistaking is. it for tonight my bad. he was definitely step pad yeah he hey, could, you he know should, LeBron could. doing it everybody trying to do you know everybody do, yep yeah, I agree. Keep all the young guys. Get rid of some of them old. I keep Carmelo if you want to stay. Yeah, I'm keeping Mello. You gotta I give keep, you the. Yeah, Kareem. Go ahead, Kareem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep Mello. If he want to stay, though, they, they've been talking about he might go back to uh, Denver, I heard today. Denver? They say he'd be willing to go back to Denver to finish yeah. his career. The Lakers wow, better not do that. Good. Scrap the team. Just 13 new players. Shit. I tell you that. They do that. They have no hope in this franchise, bro. Like, I don't I don't I don't see them doing that. Unless they just trying to do a complete rebuild. That'd be crazy. Like, but it can happen. keep the young guys. But who who are they gonna get for Russ, man? Like, honestly, at this point, it don't look it doesn't look like they can bring His back value drop, man. Who can they get for him? Drop. Like, what team will even want him at this point? He like a Ukrainian. He no, he like a Russian stock right now. <laughs> really, nobody. They them just like off the market. Like they dropped since the war. You can't even buy a Russian stock. Yeah. Oh, Russ. I don't think. You know, I'm just saying he like a Russian stock. Like all the Russian stocks drop because of the war. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. think they, they could. They shut down their market. Everything. I don't even think they could get John Wall for him at this point. Honest. I don't. I don't think any team wants him. No team. Because here's the thing: Why would you want him? And you have to still mm-hmm. deal with his personality. He hasn't shown that he can be a Carmelo or be anybody. He's going to disrupt your whole system your whole like unity all that he's going to disrupt all they showed the graphic tonight though russ has the lowest turnovers for a season he had since 2013-14 that was shocking to me yeah because they took him off the ball though yeah that and like he's playing not to fuck up which is hurting us yeah yes i agree i agree with you like you can't be out there playing like that you can't be out there playing like that and you like that and you can't be playing not to get hurt like my coach taught me that from youth. Once you, that's a, you know, that's a formula for failure, because players can sense that. You feel me? Yes. 
I it was agree. a play. It's I must I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh the clip in the group chat, Kareem. It's a play where, where, where Beverly came down, he scored, and then Russ came down. Beverly sagged off him so far and got the steal, like Russ passing in the post. I'm gonna show you that like you're gonna see the distance, like wow. Like Russ is like really deflated, but he hit a three finally in that game. But oh, he's yeah, like, that's wide open. He hit it. Yeah, he not even thinking about shoot. It's that's he should he goal. should get fined every time he shoot a three. The the yeah. Lakers staff should immediately take him out and find him right on right there on the spot every time he shoot a three. He should never shoot. <laughs> he just don't they can't it. play him and LeBron because with him and LeBron in, it's it's a five on four. He just Thank load you. up on LeBron. I, that's it's why I said, like bring team. him off the bench. You yeah. come in for LeBron, it's your team. At that moment, yeah. it's your team. Go get buckets, assists, whatever you got to do. Be Russ. Try to yeah. try to rejuvenate what you have left. But what well, was uh, Pat Bev and LeBron into it at the at the at the end of the game? Y'all oh, y'all seen that? Yeah, what was oh, that about? Did they say anything about that? I think the fact that they kept scoring, but it was a lot of time on. Yes. Uh, yeah, like LeBron, LeBron was, was standing up. That. Yeah, he was mad about they was into it about something. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to see what, what that was about. Mm-hmm. Kareem, well, I mean Elder, who you said two or three solid players for Russ? Who? Who's gonna give up two or three solid players? The Lakers for Russ? might have to take less, but as long as they solid. Who? Mm. Who? I don't know. We if you could see, say it's solid available. Well, let me ask you that. Would 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 like Timberwolves? Pat Bev to me is not a superstar, not an all-star, a solid player, somebody you mm-hmm. want on your team. For sure. Are you giving up Pat Bev for Russ? Right now. But you gotta you gotta think Minnesota through, won't take that. You gotta think exactly of money, their situation, what year they in contract. Eldor will come down here and break it down. He'll find the players. I give him that with his GM so he be knowing. Yeah, because you got to know the you situation Houston? dudes be in. Yeah, fine. So you, so Elder, are you saying John Wall and and, and just John Wall straight up? Okay, C Wood. I don't know. I don't know. I agree with. Wood. Now you have to put THT and the draft picks in. That Yo, John to- Wall, um, Tyreek Evans, and Beasley look good, man. Still. I watched that yeah, whole but, uh, run when they was well, playing. Easily. I've been seeing him all on, on social media. Oh, yeah. He did an interview on the Pivot where he was talking about, like, his personal stuff and all that. Like, he was letting the, and, and I kind of, like, relate, like me and my guy that played overseas, he made a lot of money, and he, like, got into, like, an Antoine Walker situation. He blew his money. But I could relate to Beasley when he was talking about because my boy used to always say, that, like, I don't trust my mom. I don't trust nobody in the world. I only trust you, Germ. That's my name, Germ. And – like I felt that like this nigga don't trust nobody in the world. Like he can't have a relationship with a girl, nothing. He always like mistrusts and they do the littlest thing. So I felt busy Beasley when he was talking about that. Like when he was alluding to that point. That is crazy, bro. So what right. happens? His mom did something to him? Nah, he was just talking about his whole career and how he was vilified by the NBA and he just wanna play ball, how he reached out to a um K D for help. Like he reach out and people be leaving him on red. Like, okay, you feel me? I mean, he, you could read them between the lines and make your own, but I call him out by name. That's deep. Yeah, that he ain't really want to call people out by name. He he was trying not to, but they kept trying to get it out of him. But he was like, you know, dudes I'm friends with, and and I can't even get a workout and stuff like that. I just want to play ball. And he was talking about his minutes versus like Jason Tatum minutes when they first came in and how he was more productive. Like he was breaking down a lot of stuff. Oh, I got to see that. What, what, what is it on? It's yeah. on a new um new podcast. You know, dude from ESPN. He 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 like do football a lot. What's his name? Y'all know him. Uh, the Somebody one that in the with, comments be with Kendrick know. Perkins, the one they um, they got together. Kendrick Perkins and the, the big big dude. No, nah, not him. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh. He, he's a he's a he's a like he, he's like a, yeah. a, a a skinny, not skinny black guy. He like got a short haircut. I oh, think he played about, in the NFL. Like he's like Dame Lillard. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh, yep. Pittsburgh um, Steelers. Yeah, what's his name? Um, he got his uh, own podcast. Yeah, yeah, he played for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I forgot his name is um. Damn, what's his name? He played for Pittsburgh. 
Yeah, and it's like the Ryan Clark, right? Ryan Clark. Yeah, Ryan Clark. It was, yeah, it was like so Dang raw. Little. It was raw too. Like he was talking about, "Yo, give me my number. Come play ball with the fan." Like, yo, bro, I've been around a lot of pros. Hold up, so overseas. he said KD ain't helping. Wow. It's a lot of stuff in there, yeah. man. It's a lot of stuff to digest. Yeah, wow. I, 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 I want to go watch that. They were like, "You too. can't call your friend. You knew him since 11. He was like, "Yo, it ain't like that no more. Niggas grow apart. Like, like it's real. Like, trust me, I know a lot of pros and I know a lot of over. Like, we all our relationships like that. People think we close and we do big stuff together, or whatever. But yo, it's crazy, yo. That's messed up. I, I could relate to him on that side. You feel me? So he ain't want he had, money. But, he just wanted them to like hook him up on a team or something. He was saying money. He was saying that a lot of stuff. Mm. He said, "My whole life, I've asked for help. Like, you know what I mean, I ain't afraid to ask for help." Well, wow. Ron and them he gave him a chance in, in Cleveland and Miami. LA, like yeah. he's had chances. Yeah, he he's broke down chances. his um that what happened in New York. His mom was on hospice, and then his cousin died, and. You know, you can look at it two ways. Some people gonna look at it like, ah, oh, you just making excuses. We all have rough lives and stuff like that. But Beasley's still good to me. He was always good when he wasn't getting picked and play. I'm like, how he not in the league and this dude in the league? See the thing, you know, I mean, yeah. I think in today's NBA, he could play. Yeah. See, the the years ago, he was only six seven. Oh, he's Kareem. Size power forward. He talked about too. He ain't really talk about his height and size. He was talking about social media. How, so like. Back then, when he played, you didn't have a voice. It was just Twitter and Facebook. But now, when you could create your own ad narrative, he was like, it'll be different now. You feel what I'm saying? Because he never spoke up. He always let people say what they wanted about. Like, you, you feel what I'm saying? He couldn't tell his side. Like, when he was talking about, like, when he was a rookie, how he came in, the social media really wasn't that big and all that. Like, so he was he was talking about the influence of that, too. Yeah, I really got to watch that. It, it, it's good. It's Did good. he have He's a drug transparent. problem, too, though? Nah, with a bag of weed. It, he was talking about all that, like how they do it out of proportion. He walked okay. in the gym, dude was smoking a black and mild. They said it was on him. He was doing drugs and all like he was breaking it. He never yeah. spoke out about none of this stuff he was saying. He just let people create the narratives. Like so it was real. It was real. And I you could tell he that. was being transparent where he wasn't lying, like trying to make excuses. Cause he was saying stuff that you know that hurt he was admitting stuff in the same wow. sentence yeah 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 so it's definitely it's definitely good they I said that it. uh the, the laker joint came out what's the name of it magic joint that is fire really what, what yeah. channel is on i heard it's good i think it's like abc or one of them channels i gotta watch that with my son the showtime joint right yeah, it's real good. How many episodes so far? I think two. Okay. I'm too busy in the snowfall. Forces, I right. I watch for here and there. Like it's okay. It ain't okay. worth fifty promoted, but snowfall is it right now? Snowfall, what's that about? Um, Ricky Ross, the real story. You know, the his story. <clears throat> oh, oh, he, what channel that's on? Um, Showtime. It's like season five right now. You got to watch from the beginning. You know that's yes. big because he was hustling for the Contras and they was funding. It was a lot of stuff with the crooked CIA and the FBI and all that. So yeah, that's like how the the, the crack came into you know over, over here. It came to LA first. They put it in the neighborhoods. You feel what I'm saying? So it's deep. It's real deep. That whole story. Mm -hmm. I catch that shit. Yeah, I thought dudes was gonna come in. They were saying go live, go live, go live. I know. Yeah, dudes don't like Kareem. Be knowing dudes don't really like talking after a loss. Like I don't yeah. even like that. They, yeah, they yeah. be mad, man. Yeah, the yeah, dudes be so so twisted. <laughs> they be like, man, fuck that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's because LA mentally soft. They mentally soft. They minds is it's messed up. Soft. Yeah. So damn, you know? snowfall season. I hate catching things in so far off. I mean, you could watch it like a movie. I binge watched it like you a said year and a half ago. Five. You didn't say episode five. Yeah, season five. I binge watched it, but they go mm -hmm. quick. It's it, it, it'll be good. I said Lakers series on HBO Max. 
the Magic ones. Oh, on Magic HBO joints. Max. No, the, the, the Lakers. Uh, the oh Jets, yeah, um, they must have just asked for this. Time. Yeah. Oh, okay. What what yeah. what's that from? Like last uh, Sean. What episode? Season, what was Sean? It's early still. It just came out probably a yeah, month I ago. Catch that. That's pretty that. raw film too. I was shocked. That's like they put all that stuff in there. Like, what are they covering? 2018. No, uh, they covered no, the Lakers Ma- joint. Magic Johnson and all of them. Wow. Yeah. Talk about you know he got he in there with wow. the girls and all that. Like you feel me? Yeah. Oh man. Nah, you got to catch uh, up. The snow. That's not the one. Texas. Wasn't Magic Texas, talking about come the up one? Come here, so um, I could kill you. <laughs> Wasn't Magic talking about doing a um a, a joint like Michael Jordan? I thought I heard that. Well, he's working on his his uh last dance kind of kind of thing. Oh, Magic. Oh, what? Yeah, he was talking about yeah. um. I was listening on Bang Channel yesterday in the comments and how like um. Is is LeBron is bigger than the game? Is Jordan bigger than the game? I didn't. I kind of didn't agree with like everybody wasn't saying it was people saying he not nobody and nobody is bigger than the game. But I feel when when LeBron retired, he gonna be the best GM. He gonna run the best, be the best owner ever, like African American mm. owner, because he already mm. shows signs of how he can put together team. Like you feel what I'm saying? And his influence. Mm. On the new era, just look how he, he got Anthony Edwards. Like he got the high schoolers. He got his influence well, is too crazy. Easy. It's not easy to get a team though. So that's the thing. It's you great. Easy. Trust me, LeBron. <laughs> LeBron different man. It's Who he not, gonna partner with? Who's gonna partner with? like if M D Wade? Who's gonna partner Wade with? Got his school. seat in Utah. No, but mm-hmm. the thing is. What, he just gonna buy in way more than Wade did. He gonna have, you know, he gonna have total power. See, the thing with LeBron, he got a little bit more leverage. Kareem, he showed. No, but I, what, what, what I'm, what I'm, yeah. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, um, like, there's no teams right now available. They just don't. NBA is not like that. They just not don't just make teams. Nah, I'm not saying he got to have his own team, but you see how Dwayne, what he bought, like steak in the oh, jazz? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah he going to work his way up. It ain't okay, going to just come like no Michael Jordan situation. Hell no. Somebody nah. said they was talking about, exp- I don't know if that was capped, you know, a narrative being sent out, but they were talking about expanding the NBA just so LeBron could have a team, like, like having one in Vegas, a couple no, other cities. I, I heard they're going to do it, but not for LeBron. I heard they just was going to do it. For the okay. family, Vegas and um Seattle. Seattle, yep. And there was one more I thought. I thought it was they, 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 they always have to be an even number. It was yeah, just- Le- LeBron coming with a whole team gotcha. though. Like that rich Paul and like them boys, them boys is powerful, man. What's up, people. guys? What up, most up, most man? What's up? Uh what? Most, most. I heard you in the <laughs> comments yesterday call me bronze sexual and all that. You know you're a bronze sexual. Stop you playing. look you like tiny <laughs> listening, man. Now, now, now you, you talking about tiny Le- listening? Le- Le- LeBron gonna get a whole. Yo, LeBron most, most, you look like a tiny first. listening though. Look, you oh know good and well. If LeBron, if LeBron get a team, they can't be running no clutch for him. Man, do all that. Why can't they? Because that's not that's just a, you can't be a uh yeah, you can't bro. Older, you you see older, this is uh, what this is where your oldness gets in the way. You got to huh? know, we living in a world, bro, where new narratives is being set oh, every day. Uh, but you live in fantasy land. No, I'm not. I just put something in the chat and in, in the Instagram, Kareem, about the NFTs. What little baby say? I don't want to accept no more money. Pay me and eat there. Like, it's a new world out here. Bro. Little baby? That's your financial advisor, no, little baby? No, I'm not saying that's my financial <laughs> advisor. I'm just saying models that you talking about, ain't that, they getting broke <laughs> every day, bro. No, we, we we talking rules. Certain nah. business rules are happen. They're right. not gonna allow you no time. They're not gonna allow you to have no all right you know, alliance with clutch sports. Yeah, Plus, we thought we thought we'll we never see no powerful thing like Rich Paul and LeBron from a player, how they running it now. Brother, we, the we, we, we seen, in the game. Brother, we seen uh, agencies run uh have great players and a lot of players. That's, that's Ooh, the, what African American agent running like no, I'm talking about other agents and other agents. Come on Ooh. now. Name. We haven't seen like player friendly like a catering exactly. like like this. That's what I'm going to say. No, I didn't Who say not African American. Stop, stop changing no, no. what I'm saying. No, I, I didn't say that. I we didn't see say that. agents 
have okay. great power in this league. I did not say we no, but but but, but most most they haven't had power from pros to Why youth. Jump youth basketball, about, LeBron is touching. Bro, youth I'm talking basketball, about the number one player in the owner, nation is going to sign with Clutch. So tight with that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what you talking about. We talking about two different things. So what he you talking about? Total, he got to separate himself from total clutch if he's gonna be an owner. He can't have he can't be so connected with clutch and it's have he's not connected and now. But all that's his team. team. When you negotiate right. and you come that. to the table in business, that's what you have to leverage. That's on your resume. That's your influence. Yeah, LeBron don't have to be the face, but you best to believe. Because he's LeBron, all these young kids or whoever's coming up is, is going to want to play for that organization. He already doing that, it. That's, that's not how. That, that's not how it go. Just because they want to play there, don't mean they're you. available to play there. It don't go it's, like that. It's, his, want, it's, it's wanting, and he's getting them to sign. And what's his legal? What's his legal <laughs> connection to Clutch? Like, is he? <laughs> I know he's the face a face of Clutch, but legally, like, like, is he? He's not with Clutch Ooh. now. That's illegal for him to be with Clutch now. Yep. And he's still got the influence. About? LeBron. It's not okay. it's legal. Like, if we're just basing off legalities, not the face. Like, players know he's Clutch. They know he rock with Rich mm-hmm. But he's not legal. He can't be a player like Let me tell you this, fam. After the game, the only that's, person. That's one thing. That's one Anthony thing. Edwards. But the owner is a whole nother monster. You got to really separate yourself as an owner from stuff like that. Because you got to get approved for this team. You got a board sitting there. You got all this other stuff that's way above head. This is not like – this is a really big game when you're talking about owner and the team. It's not the same as this right here. No, I understand. Yeah. But he's going to work his way up. Have have partnerships. Yeah, for sure. For sure. LeBron's going to have to allocate all of his time to uh, and commitment to uh, that, which I don't – I mean, he could probably do it. I he mean, gonna but do I don't – He's going to be yeah. the youngest one. Think about it. That's what he wanted. I'm not doubting it. Like, I'm like not, y'all not thinking, yeah. man, when, when you when you get into – so, like, let's say we got into stocks down. We in our 35. You getting the owners, you LeBron, your shelf life is way longer. They looking at you as a rookie. It's all old dudes up there. Yeah. So, you, so, so you, huh? You talking – you talk, see, again, you talking best-case scenario. I'm not look at the scenario. Look at the, I'm talking about look what at the he's best, setting up now. Let's look at, but let's look at what LeBron set up with this Lakers team right now. What so you set up? Why you keep the, saying that? The, it just came out the, today why that you he wanted the Rosen and the Lakers keep? ain't pull the trigger. Why you say keep? Oh, look at the team right now. Huh? And you think, you think look at this team? Most, most. This show that he can be a great owner? Wait, pause. Most, Did it most, really come most. Out they like just that? came out and said Whoa. the Rosen, he wanted the Rosen and the Lakers didn't pull the trigger. Oh. So he had no, like, Man. you stop speaking on stuff you know nothing about. We gonna yeah. What are you talking later. about? You I said nothing about the Rosen. I'm right. talking about he I'm wanted Russ too. He, he got up. Russ. We know oh, he wait, got Russ. On. Most, most. Hold on, hold on. He ended up Here's the issue. No, no, here's the issue. Here's the issue. The first option, as, as we all know, was actually uh, Lillard. We all know this, and then the exactly. Rose. Exactly. But then, but then, hold on. Russ was just a, a damn default. It's like, hey, fuck it. We don't have any other. He was other the options. last choice. Well, they are the last choice. Not going to choose him over Buddy. Come on. Hey, so, so, uh, so, how many people are going to apologize? Last how, so, so, how many people going to come out and renege on all this narrative they were spending? Like LeBron is the reason they want to. Like, how many people gonna change See, they, that? Exactly. That you talk? can't listen to the narrative, bro. All they do what is y'all, you know, what? What? what we we talking home. about? We talking about you, ownership? You talking the about what LeBron there's no, put I'm, together? I'm saying there's no, there's no, there's no guarantee. Have a total hand in that. This is what I'm telling y'all. Y'all jumping wanted, all over the place. Boy, boy, you jumping all over the place. My point is this: all it's right, not gonna be an easy cakewalk. I'm debunking what you're saying. To get the best, you're not debunking nothing. I'm saying you saying it's gonna be so easy. Everybody's going to be LeBron easy as an owner of a team. He's going to get all the players. Listen, it's one thing you know about LeBron ain't easy, nothing brother. he ever did it's was easy. What did he say in 2016 when he LeBron. won a championship? I don't know why God gave me the hardest road, but that's mm-hmm. his whole life testament, but, bro. But you're, you're saying me? it's going to be easy no, with him not. owning the team I and with him that. getting that's all the best players. Take it from what I'm saying. That's Everybody want to play with him. You, that, that's what you're saying. I'm, I'm telling you facts telling you of what is, he's doing and what's on his resume owner, right now. Just like Kareem said, just getting a team is going to be a challenge. Yeah, just getting get total team. ownership, but he could easily get stake. Look how easy D Wade got it. He has yeah. taken the, uh, the ball. Right? Nowhere he near. Minor Jay-Z had minor stake. That ain't minor. D Wade. LeBron has like it's, 50% It depends on how Sox. much money you want to put up, how much influence, all that. LeBron, LeBron is way LeBron don't have no 50% of no Red Sox. 
You yeah, know, go look it up. It's like, it's like right got, on 50%. He, got that, he does um, not have 50%, 50 of the No, I said 15, that. boy. I said 15. I didn't say 15. Okay, you said 15. Okay, good. 15. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that he's crazy. Not, no, no, no. Yeah, he's, not, he's not making no power decisions with that. No, yeah, it's baseball. But I I, I promise you in basketball, Hell, he'll 50%? have the biggest Hell, influence. No. Does, does Magic help him get a team? Does Magic and his business partner help him? But this is what I'm saying. He has all those relationships to leverage. You don't think he's going to be getting advice and the pointers and how to skip yeah. the line and stuff from dudes like that's why you make those relationships, bro. I think he already started this, this process. Thing. With him getting the team, think... it's business. He going to want to, like, when them guys get these teams, it's business. They want to win, but then you got partners. You got to you making business decisions sometimes, which don't look good for winning at times, especially – if he pull up on a small market team, it's tough. You, you know why he's going to be a great owner? Because he already influenced how players look at, you know, leveraging their power, their money. He's going to be giving these dudes real financial literacy, how to manage your money, how to become a brand after back. These owners, these white owners, they're not doing that, bro. It's come work for me and then go home. They're they not doing that. They don't of have course, programs and stuff. And they're not relatable. That's why he's going to change bro, the game. Bro, bro, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Mean LeBron's stop not you, doing bro, that. you know how many plays is on record? Beasley was just talking about that on this thing. I don't care what Beasley was talking about. Michael Beasley talking about saying, LeBron as a an lot owner. Of players on record an owner, an, an, that, owner not, an owner isn't having no time to sit down with all his players. That, okay, and let me tell you. This is why what, LeBron will be powerful. You, all these players got to, they got to have their own management. You can't be connected with them. What you How think, what you think Clutch is, bro? In music. Clutch is. You can't, he can't use his lawyers to be their lawyers. What you think Clutch he is? You, he can't use Clutch. He probably can't sign not one cl Clutch client. No, that's he what Clutch no. does. They come and do the management piece, bro. Watch their no, documentaries saying, and stuff on YouTube. And no, watch what they do. They're going to look at this as a problem. Already the owners looking right, at Clutch Sports as a problem. I'm talking about whenever you, you black and you do. come into something like that, you're definitely gonna be a problem. Yeah, that's only Barry. I think he'll encounter now is a problem because he got that bro, Tyson bro, Ron, that that Wait a minute, wait a minute. The power he do not, and plus, no. Ron is getting older. When you in, in about five years, you look up. They're going to be looking at other players as more Hold influential. On, most, most. You crazy? Oh, no, no, you, no, you like crazy. I told you, oh, this shelf life. You know, how, be... you know how young guys, when you're gone, they forget you. Y'all no, are. When it comes oh, to business, you, you crazy with he, that, his bro. shelf life, he will bro, be a rookie, bro. Easy. They're going to be looking at, oh, Brian was great, but Brian ain't here LeBron now. LeBron will be the youngest the owner. Is, the, is how these young guys. Oh. Wow. Hold on, most, most, nah, most, you most. Wrong. Respect Hold guys on. every day. Like, y'all think Brian not gonna still get still talking respect? about Jordan, bro. Twenty years later. Wait a minute. I'm wow. not talking. Yeah, but uh, but Hold the on. disrespect that people put on people's name. It don't yeah. that, none don't of that gonna like, matter when you behind don't, the don't scenes. Act like, uh, they don't look at they don't look at Jordan as the best owner ever. That's the opposite. They say he the worst owner ever. You think Yo. if Brian makes mistakes, they won't say, "Oh, Brian yeah. was great." But him the GM uh -huh. going. All that goes out the window when it's time to negotiate and you getting you getting money and play as young kids' pockets. Y'all already know. High school. They biting at the, uh. they bite at the piss to watch Brian slip a little to pounce on him. That's America. They they raise you up to tear you down. Now that's that's true. But hold on, listen. Hey, no loyalty. They, yeah, they people will hate Kanye. I mean, I don't know if he's really worth six billion dollars, like they say he is. I mean, he's got money, definitely. But mm. well, they. But no, that hold on. That's the biggest problem. Anybody, anybody like him is going to encounter LeBron or anybody. Exactly. You know? Hold on, because no, it's not just white. It's Jesuits. Jesuits run everything. Like the uh, the, the Jews are behind the scenes. Oh, no, so, for sure. So you Jesuits. Know. Jews ain't Jesuits, man. <laughs> I mean, they, no, the Jews are affiliated, affiliated but the, the, the Jesuits run everything. They're very powerful. The, the Jesuits run everything. They, they, they're, 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 they're the, Jews yes. don't run everything. They, they, they don't. Okay. All right, brother. That, that's I anti mean, In America. In, oh, shit. But like it's, many, America, it's, many, it's many white men who are not Jewish who've got a lot of run in this country. Jews no, don't run everything. No, no, not Especially most. NBA. They, they run entertainment. It's, 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 that's it's, it's, all you cool that and all. I hear y'all narratives. I hear what y'all saying. <laughs> But guys like Kanye, guys like LeBron, guys like Floyd, we have a few billionaires with influence, okay? They're trying to, their whole narrative, if you see what they're pushing out, they're trying to get our culture to realize 
how powerful we are. We really run things. We the biggest like, consumers. And, and all these the thing, brands though. and all here's these the people. Here's the thing. Our here's dollar the is the power. Here's the thing. So we here's really the thing. Run it. Yeah. Once here's we learn thing. how to tap into that yeah. and control that, and it's over. Hold and on. It's hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Hold on. But it seems yes, like sir. every time we mention, because I mean, I think LeBron could do make make an immense impact. But it seems like every time somebody mentions anything good about LeBron, it's like most most wants to. Push back on it. It's like for what? It's okay, bro. I don't, I don't but, but bro, bro, on, hey, Texas, it's okay. Hey, hey, Texas, I hate when y'all do that. I'm just saying. Texas, I hate y'all, when y'all, y'all do Texas, that. Y'all Texas, see, y'all, y'all have get, other perspectives. Texas, y'all get the, <laughs> Texas, you get defensive I when I say it's not going to be easy. I didn't say that Braun wouldn't be able to get a team and be when, successful. When did I say I it would be easy, it sir? Wouldn't, it wouldn't be a cakewalk. You take that as me hating or shitting on Braun. I just said it wouldn't be a Cake wall. No, sir. I didn't. Hold on. on. Wait, 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 this is what you got to understand. Hold on. This is what hey, you got to understand, Texas. What goes I'm, up I'm must go down. Thing. It's always got to be a negative and a positive. No, bro. No, no, no. I just said it hold wouldn't on, be a cake wall. Most of them respond to you, bro. Hold on. Let me respond to you, man. Hold on. Hold on. You're saying that. Let them finish, Texas. Let them finish everything you got to say. The walk in. Not with the dollar headphone. Most, most, no, my thing is this, bro. No, no, you said a lot, but, but hold on. You can't tell me what I extracted it as a red flag. I, it, it wasn't that part, bro. But I mean, yes, I mean, oh, let, let me, let oh, me tell you. I know you as a broad sexual. I know. A broad, that that oh, 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 man. I'm actually a realist. Oh. I'm actually a realist thing, about LeBron. But I'm not kissing his ass. You take that as a red flag. That's what y'all do. Sir, I'm a realist here. Every day. I'm a realist. Day, especially when the day on the night that they lose. Y'all, y'all go into a tizzy. I'm but, used to it. Yeah, when did I, sir? I'm, I'm actually a realist. If LeBron, LeBron didn't show up tonight, sir, honest, that's not gonna get me from stop me from giving my honest. But hold on, most, most, you gonna just keep talking? I, no, no, I hold LeBron to a high standard. If he fucks up, I call him out. So you're, it doesn't apply to me, brother. That don't LeBron, and, sexual, brother. One sir, LeBron, no, sir, sir, a bronze sexual, somebody that makes every excuse in the book. For for a dude when 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 he when he comes up short like uh, there's somebody that defends Russell Westbrook when he's shit that's what we call Facts. a person like that I and and, to- and and your red flag went off because I said it wouldn't be easy for no, LeBron sure. to nobody I agree with you yo it's I agree with you I agree with you, with you, you, with agree with you buddy you I agree with you I hold on I even told you why it wouldn't be easy. So what are you talking about? Can you not follow a conversation? I told you, I, I, you just said that. Do. Anytime you just said that I speak down upon LeBron when I did not speak down that, upon LeBron. I didn't say you speak down. No, let me explain to you because you can't speak for me, sir. Let me explain to you what was a red you flag. You just said me. that, brother. It came out your mouth. Sir, you I didn't. You got a red flag when I spoke sir. on LeBron. Sir, but do you know what what part of what you said? I said I had a red flag about. It. No, you don't. So, so let me speak. What I'm saying is that it's a correlation effect. You're saying, "Oh, LeBron, you know the players won't." I I came in just like well, as soon as you did almost, but I heard like you, you gotta remind me because you said like, "Oh, they wouldn't follow LeBron and this and that." Is that what you say? I'm trying to make sure because I mean he'll have a decent okay, following. Okay. No, what most most does he makes a sure. definitive statement, meaning end all do all so nothing the paradigm can't get changed and what i'm saying is things are mm-hmm. getting changed every yeah, day that's it. Really i think LeBron could break on. the ice i think he could he's loyalty that's, that's what you just did you said that you said this lebron's <laughs> going to be different lebron's going to run i'm all. not saying lebron's going to get the best player if you watch his history and what it. he's been you doing said, everything no, he loyalty, does you said different. LeBron, one at a time one at a time go most most go ahead you you said LeBron's going to be different than these white owners. LeBron's going to sit down with them and teach them our power and our ownership and all these things. This is what you were saying, brother. Yes, I that's said, a true I fact. It's not going. And all I said was my whole point mm-hmm. was, brother, it's not going to be so easy because when you get in business, when you get to with management, they got they got owners, they got their own brand. That's what I'm saying. I'm not okay. putting no hit on Brian in his name. Let me ask. Hold on, most most. At, it's Hold not on, be- Texas. Let me just rebuttal. Nah. Do you understand that he's already doing that and has that powerful influence? And, and when it comes to business and every, from getting players paid from youth sport to pros already. Go look at what Bronny signed. And when did I say it'll be easy? Gaming. It's not all about just basketball. I said bro. it's going to be tough because, hold on, everybody knows this. The, the, one of the barriers, the, the, the elephant in the room is that, you know, 
his pigment. That's I'm, and, and and I'm not pro anything. I don't I don't believe in that bullshit. But I'm just it's just a fact. It's just a fast speed facts. So that alone is they're gonna let you. They're gonna only want to give you so much in that in that arena in that in that stratosphere that regime. So he's gonna have that barrier to climb, and then he's gonna have other things because yeah, and, and most most you got you got to listen to what I'm saying, bro. I I, I said it was gonna be tough because. LeBron is going to have to go. I, I, I didn't speak home. that to you. I'll speak that to. I spoke okay. that to loyalty. Okay, okay, that's fine. I didn't fine. speak that whatever. part to you. Uh, uh, that's, you did, but uh, but anyway, but what I'm saying is, is I'm saying, okay, bro, or whatever you go. didn't. Okay, whatever. All I'm saying is that LeBron is going to have to, as I said before, when I first came on, he's going to have to uh, get acclimated to allocating all of his focus and resources to being a full time business person. I think he can do it, but when you've been listen. He'll probably play 22, 23 seasons. So at that point, when you've been doing all this for uh, almost two and a half decades, you got to get used to, okay, now I got to do office work. I have to do this and do that. It's not a guarantee he'll be successful because I'm a realist. I don't kiss his asshole. But I'm just saying I think he can do it, but it's going to require a lot of time. Look at Phil Jackson. Bro, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying any right, – I ahead. didn't say that against what you said. I'm not yeah, making yeah. an argument with you. Only part with you was you said a red flag that I'm hating on Braun. That's the only part I made for you. But loyalty, I was talking to other things. I think, let me tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. LeBron, the best thing, what you see LeBron doing, like with Clutch Sports, his, Rich Paul runs that. I don't think, I don't sit there hate on LeBron like he runs. He don't run Clutch Sports. Rich Paul runs that. Rich All right. Paul, most, smart, most. If you my man, man, right? Let me, let me, let me, let me right, get my phone out. Le, Le, LeBron is a smart guy where he puts, he mm -hmm. puts the right people in the right situations. As an owner, yeah, that's the part that you're gonna learn. He gonna have a GM. He gonna have this that. I think he can. Yep. I definitely think he can be successful. I'm not hating on Brown. If if a lot of these guys can do it, he can do it. But it's let like me, when, let when, me ask when, you something. When, when you're done, most about, most go ahead. No, keep they were talking about Doctor Bus and all these in the uh, Genie Bus and owners. It's a different spirit that really good owners have. Mm -hmm. Like you, look at the, uh, Golden State owners. You look at uh, Doctor Bus. You look at other owners. When they was doing good. Like when the Bulls was good. Jerry Jerry Reinsdorf dumbass was stepped out the way. You know, he's an exception. He's a dumbass. And we want him gone. We can't get him gone. He, he way worse than Jenny Buss. But I know LeBron can do that because LeBron loves basketball. That's what I'm saying. I don't want y'all to think or in the chat to think that I'm hating on LeBron. Look, LeBron can definitely do it. A lot of these players can get in there and make their uh, franchise successful. And I think it, that's the key. Look at all the men all the black men in position that Charlotte got that Michael Jordan put in position. People don't talk about it. It's black men running his business. Not white men, black men. He paying black players millions and millions of dollars. But you see people still shit on him. He ain't doing nothing for the black community. Man, they, you know, not, they attack him. I agree. When he, how he not doing nothing for the black community when he's employing about 40 million black millionaires? Mm -hmm. Look, Diddy, Master P, and all of them, they wasn't employing 40, 50 million billion, uh, black men like that. Yeah, white they, guys they, were. Out of dollars, they can make hundreds of thousands, but they were not millionaires like these guys are doing. Mm -hmm. And I and I think that, you know how people are going to try to shit on his name and make it hard for him. But I think, you know, with all he's been going through now, this is a real test where, you know, you know what, I think I know what I'm going to do when I get to be an owner. Well, he's seeing what Jeannie busting them and whatever's going on in the league now. So I do think he can be successful. But, but so this is what I'm saying. This what he's going through with the Lakers. It's nothing new. LeBron already went through the worst of the worst from an owner with the Dan Gilbert. He's done seen it all, bro. This is a cakewalk for him. This is all. This is all extra, bro. Icing on the cake with LeBron. He's already paving his way for after basketball. If you really watch what he does from the youth to the pros, bro, he, LeBron been working the last, like, four summers, bro, even through the winning the championship. Just watch the players he influences. The strive for greatness, the clutch, and and, and the, old, the Boston, the kid Boston who played for, um, what's Bronny team name? Like, he has, oh, he has the youth locked up, bro, from till 2029, probably. That's crazy because these are going to be first round, second round, third round draft picks. I mean, here's the thing, too. It's going to be the, really scary when he starts yeah. getting into that yeah. overseas game. Mm -hmm. That's why he loved Luca so much. Yeah, That's probably why he's trying to get close to him. Brent, bro. Whether, you got to watch how LeBron do, bro. Whether, oh, whether we he, see that. But yeah, they draft picks. He can't uh, draft everybody. But here's the thing. Whether you love 
or, uh, you know, hate or whatever LeBron, whoever that person is. I can say this, though, man. He's going to probably go down as – I could be wrong – as probably a top two influential and just transcendent person on and exactly. off the court all the time. And, and that's theory. not me kissing up to LeBron. That's just, that's just being a We've fact. never seen that. That's all that I'm saying. He's pioneering ways. Hold on. And this is, this, oh, this is why I give him the most credit, though, because – See, and I think people shit on LeBron from this aspect because it's like if you share the same ethnicity as this dude, you know, you you would appreciate what he's doing for 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 his fellow his fellow men. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, if you hate LeBron on the court, that's one thing. But like you know, this guy in Carcino, he he yeah, he makes fun of LeBron, but one thing he does admire is that LeBron's work for people of his community and these athletes. Because think about it, if there was no LeBron right now over these last many years. I don't think these guys have the player. They don't. They don't have the player empowerment that is needed to uh, circumvent, you know, what the regime has put into place. And people still shit on LeBron for that. That's my only issue. Like you can hate LeBron on the court. I don't give a fuck. You, Cause you know, that's, that's just how I feel. Because I, he's my goat, but I don't care about that right now. I'm just talking about what he does off the court and what he does for his players. That's it. They're how can to, you not? How can you not like that? I mean, that's you most. To, most. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just, mm-hmm. They're about to lose that player empowerment. LeBron, yeah, it's your, it's your own. That, that's about to go out the door. LeBron because about people to retire. Are, people abused it. You see, LeBron yep. played out his contract. He didn't just yep. say trade me, trade me now. I yep. think people, people, mm-hmm. you know, LeBron played it. He just he he held out his he played his contract. He yep. went to it, he did it. And a mm-hmm. lot of guys, they went a different route. And, and I think some of the pressure is I want to play with LeBron, or, or they got they that pressure. By the media, you got to win a championship. Your career means nothing. But then when they force their way out, they yell good. But then they don't win. Oh, that's oh, horrible. You should have stayed that's that. That's that Stephen A. Smith. That's yeah, that Stephen A. Stephen Smith, a. Smith hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Right. And, and, and the only reason he do that, honestly, and I don't care whether you got Jordan 1 or 2, to me, it's a watch. It's whatever your opinion is. But he makes those arguments to one or two things, to either – uphold Jordan's mystique or to tear down a plate. That's his whole MO. He is always tearing down a plate. And yeah, that's it's all about his on. narrative, yo. That's yeah, not and I, and I, think, yeah. I think they all I think they all do it. And it's and it's not that's like you can't hold so these players to Jordan standard. It's unfair. That's like you can't hold players to Wilt standard or Bird mm-hmm. standard. It's just unfair. Let them my thing is always let them be them. Let let players play the game. I see guys now a player will come out and say Kyrie has 60. The next game, if he have 25 or something, they go in on him. Oh, he first they make yes, him the deal. Yes. Oh, he's a right. he's a chip artist. He's yes. horrible. Like, like yes. they, they, they tried to put Kawhi in a grave when he forced his ball to the Spurs. Then the next year, oh, we always love Kawhi. Like, shut up. Y'all didn't let yeah. him last year. Y'all shitted on him because y'all thought he was destroying pop legacy. You know, this legacy has a play a, a play a coach but when he did that they were like well pop ain't so squeaky clean himself right like, here's the thing too here's the thing too like i don't like when people could like they say oh luca can uh eclipse lebron the reason why i don't think that's going to happen in terms of like overall i'm gonna say it because to be lebron and this is not me loving lebron's being honest to be, to be on lebron's level is luca going to be able to average t- not not 20 21 points at 35 36 37 you're going to have to average 30 i mean uh 27 28 29 points uh in, in those you know the, the age range i don't think luca's going to be able to do that because longevity is a big thing but it's about how well you play longevity wise i don't think luca is going to sniff lebron when his career is over because i don't think he can sus- i don't think he can sus- sustain 28 29 points average in his latter years so that's i hate you know, everyone wants to argue that, but that's not really a feasible thing. You can't argue that because I don't think Luca's body is going to hold up like LeBron's body. It's just not to me. But if it does, then we'll see. But everybody's trying to always find a guy to eclipse another guy. I mean, just, just I just say enjoy greatness because if you have Jordan or Kareem as your GOAT, I, I won't argue that because you can make a case for LeBron, Jordan, or Kareem. That's why most, most, I never argue with you if you got LeBron, I mean, uh, Jordan as your GOAT or anybody who has Kareem. Because it, it it makes sense. Now, even with that, I, I I just go on with guys when they start disrespecting older players. I don't come on here talking about Jordan or Raven or Jordan when it did. I don't bring that stuff up. You know why? Because yeah. back then 
they didn't throw stats every night. This is the most 32 point exactly. game. Six. They didn't do that back when we grew up. Exactly. They didn't, exactly. They didn't bombard you exactly. with every night stats. And maybe it's like, oh, they, what they did was bombard us with, oh, this was a good matchup right here. This was a good rivalry. We want to see these guys go at it. It was kind of more on that note. Every day is a new stat. Like, okay, Luca got more points than uh, LeBron did when he was 18. Not in, you Like you said, they running with that now. What, Luca going to pass up LeBron? I'm like, let Luca play. Let's see Luca grab a championship. Let's see, let's see that. You know what I mean? Let, let, let's start with this, you know, they yeah. putting crowns on guys' heads before they earn it. Then, okay. when they don't earn it, they shit on them hard. Look what they doing to Zion. This man broke his foot. They shit on him so hard. Like, they acting like he actually went out there and rented a motorcycle and tore his body up drinking with Kim Kardashian or somebody being reckless. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's what get me about uh what they doing in that point. And it, it's just stupid. Even when LeBron went to Miami, I was like, good. Because we all know in basketball, every time I played in high school, college, the best players always teamed up on you. That's just how that's just how yeah. this sport is. Even in Chicago, they plucked the best players out of every neighborhood. And you got to go in there. We we went in a good team getting beat by 50. They got the all the best guys. Like they got two seven footers in high school. Like, what kind of mess is this? That's how basketball is. It ain't fair. You you better find a way to win or stand out. Yo, and you I, did anybody watch the, for playing um, in Miami? Beasley Big deal. Interview? The who? The Beasley who? when he was talking about um how he was asking dudes how to get endorsements, how to get sponsorships, how to get advertisement, and nobody would tell him. Wow. Like, oh, we, this don't, we don't look at stuff like that, right? But this this is what I'm saying about the owners and, and players needing information and, you know, stuff like that. They ask play other players, and if the other players don't give, they don't never get it. So that goes with financial literacy. And why I brought up the LeBron thing is LeBron, Bronny got a – a sponsorship from phase already lebron is getting youth paid with that new pay to play thing from you so like that's a the, the why I say he could change the paradigm most most that's the difference that's a whole new untapped area that's happening right now and people not taking notice bro like it's going to be like it's going to be bigger than basketball like yeah oh, you don't have to be a superstar and make millions we right, can get you this. You could use your five hundred thousand Instagram and and use the influence to get these same advertisers and sponsorships. Oh, people and be bigger people, than players. Look, people definitely taking notice of that, brother. That that's been a, a drive for years with the NCAA. You know, mm -hmm. it's been guys years ago sued the NCAA with their likeness. You know, yeah. Charles Barkley pulling his likeness out of other stuff. So it's for been sure. guys. On, they've been they've been on the neck of the NCAA. But, but and what player that's <laughs> actually playing right now talking about it and actually getting kids money in their pocket though? Like, like forget being the owner what, of a what, team. What, 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 you what already you doing this on the ground surface. What I'm you mean? Saying, that's that's what LeBron is doing. Currently. What you mean? You mean clutch sports getting money in their pockets? No, it's not. It's not just clutch. Is LeBron touch? He has an AAU team. He got you like he's around all the AAU team, but, bro. But, but we know that, hand on but, that. But basketball players, I'm just saying this. LeBron doing it, but basketball players been doing it. They've been doing it. They haven't. Yeah, they have. They've been doing it. Who? They, they, everybody. You can name a million guys who've been having teams. AAU been doing summer yeah, camp. They've been having been, AAU, but and, not getting these young guys. And, and paid you know how many millions before they hit. Look, 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 look at Mikey Williams, Williams, bro. Go look at but how think much about he's done for. Yeah, but Mikey we, Williams we is about, richer than Mike, Michael Beasley, right? He's richer than a lot of NBA players already. He never has to step foot in the NBA, bro. But, but, bro, what are you you're talking something that I'm not talking about again? No, but I'm just saying, I'm saying that this been doing that. Doc, who's that? Huh? Who's this right here, the doctor? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking. No, you said well, players been what, doing that, know. but players haven't been using their <laughs> no, bro, I don't know, bro, what, hey, but I'm saying is that's not a pedogram of Jess Braun. That's been the league and then forcing to get Ooh, that. Name it to oh, get the shit. you. Ready you see what you got playing? going on? Braun didn't invent that, brother. Hold you on, y'all. Y'all y'all see what y'all got going on? Hey, Will Chamberlain got a big it? ass, y'all. Hey, y'all. Will Chamberlain got a big ass. I'm finna fuck with Chamberlain. I knew he was a a a, a, a troll. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get rid I of him. He's a man. rainbow dude. 
I knew he was weird, bro. When I saw him look at the camera, they said, they said, I don't know. I don't know. And all like, come on, all <laughs> these people like this on these streams. Yeah, doing Kareem, I, knew, I, 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 seen, I seen him looking I crazy. He was weird. I knew he was weird because he, he, he kept looking at the camera. I'm like, that's not yes. normal. Yes. How he how he get on? <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. I closed off. I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> his, his his voice sounded like Texas for a minute. I'm like, what the heck is Texas doing? But I I'm surprised like, it took him. Like, Why you? <laughs> I'm surprised it took him so long to start acting up. He was looking all weird. I thought he he waited. He, he wanted waited to be acknowledged. You see that? Yes, 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 yes. He waited to be acknowledged. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was probably loyalty. <laughs> see, that's what they gonna say. Loyalty husband or some <laughs> That's, that's crazy. Death threats. I'm trying to kill family. Man. Hey, man. Who, it's crazy. Man. Who, who, who the Lakers got? Who the Lakers play that, next? Because I see my Bulls got blew out of Utah. Toronto. Ooh. That's my cue. I'm out, y'all. Peace to the uh-huh. chat. Toronto. <laughs> Damn. Shit. Toronto look unbeatable when it comes to Lakers now. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. That's a bad a matchup for them because they just got so many forwards to throw at LeBron. What the Lakers look better the second half? Of well, that they game. can't. They can't piece together their complete game. That's the problem. They're, they're, they're they normally start off, you know, first quarter just just playing well, and then they run out of gas. When you're done talking, yeah. Guess what? If What's we, that? if if we, I'm gonna tell you, we we losing the game if we do this. If we come with a whole new starting five, LeBron, <laughs> we gonna lose. If we play how we played tonight, like that road type of rotation, I think Augustine could get in a little earlier for Austin Reeves when he not, you know, some players could have got in a little earlier. But we have to have a steady dose of the boy Gabriel and Dwight, regardless of who mm-hmm. these teams put out there, bro. And you, you gotta know, rest LeBron more and put rush in for him to give him more uh, leeway. You know what they doing? They trying to Don't match up with together. every different team. Cause I know uh, the last game, uh, the White House wasn't available because he's dealing with the situation with the custody. It wasn't just last game. He hasn't played like five, ten games in a row, bro. Well, he played, but he didn't play that much uh, games. You, you but, know, uh, I think, yeah. yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do tomorrow. Now, I, I saw his, his baby mother, and, and that's and crazy. I, and I had to, I had to, I, had to, I was like, oh shit, that's that chick that was on the Housewives back in 2010. I was like, why, why does he, why does he like that so much? But I mean, it's just like crazy. But go ahead. We oh. argued about this early in the season. Most, most, you was like every team do it. Every team got COVID. <laughs> no, I didn't say every the first team. example in the they... NBA where teams is still this team is still trying to figure out a starting lineup this because late in the season. Look, they're bad. You don't understand this fact. The Lakers are bad. Yeah. I don't even we think it's their bad. Like we was talking before you came, most most they don't even give themselves a chance to find an identity. You have to be bad but to they, know to get good. Identity. You don't even know what you need to fix the identity. They just don't play any effort. That, that's the biggest problem. They play with effort. They have ten more wins right now. But 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 you keep saying effort. You're not. Okay. I don't care how much effort you play defense, with with LeBron at the five. You're gonna lose a lot of games just that's off of true. matchups. No, you play it's, LeBron versus Cat yeah. tonight. Even right. with him giving maximum effort, him scoring yeah, 50, that's he fine. lose. I'm saying, hold on, the team collectively, uh, Russell Westbrook, I, tonight, tonight, you still had a, a little, little semblance of guys not, not with, listen, they, they were just out, a lot of these teams win out of, out hustling, getting loose balls, uh, uh hit, hitting For the sure. boards. That's not, hold on, that's not all, uh, pertaining to LeBron. Is right. you have other guys, exactly, you have other guys looking tonight. A lot of, a lot of fast break points Minnesota was getting in the first part of the game. A lot, a lot. I mean, so like, but, just, but this was the thing. It was a point where look, look, the Lakers had eleven turnovers, but only two points off of those turnovers. It was a point exactly. where Lakers was two for thirty-two. Those things are definitive. Mm-hmm. On most nights, you do that, you're not beating nobody, and that's been the case with them for the last. And here's the games. thing, too. And here's the thing, too. Russ is a guy that you brought in to be to be a third wheel, obviously, and then in second wheel, in the nights like tonight and the other nights since AD's been out. And this this idiot struggling to score thirty. He had I don't know what he had 30, fifteen points. That's when Russ has to be able to get you twenty twenty seven. See, this, this is what is I thought Russ was going to be able to do. The blame, bro. As a coach, Genie. you have to learn yeah. how to get the maximum out of whoever you have. Fuck the narratives. Who we got? You got what you got. 
now maximize him. It's I think Volvo doesn't care. Flashes of Russ play by himself. The game in Charlotte, he went off thirty five. Like you have, you can't well, share him with LeBron. You can't have Volvo stop caring with him. Volvo stop caring a long time ago. This is why you got to blame. I blame Jimmy Bus only because listen, if if your if your house is in disarray and there's people that are fucking it up. And you you know they're gonna fuck it up. Why not get them out of there and then bring some new people in? And Jeannie Bus is the head woman. honcho. If she if I, you exactly. could call her a yes man, that's what she, she would be. But she she's the head honcho. Of this. I said you know? Vogel should have been gone after the first twenty games. After the first twenty games, he should have been gone. Has but, she even have to ever? Has she had to ever? How long has she been in office? I don't think she never had to deal with adversity with this team. Was she the owner when um they were uh, no. had Lonzo she, she, and all them with the no, she, she was she, she she was but she had the, the basketball. Yeah, she been working in that organization since they bought it. She not yeah, no she, newbie. Yeah, working yeah, in, but yeah. now she's like the head nigga. Well, no, none of them been here. Look at Steve Ballmer and the rest of them. They don't. They, they've been doing other businesses and stuff like that. You know the what I mean? Doing no, they do, than she is. But they got influence. Yeah, he is. Been that money. The ownership role. She's not a GM. Like you said, like what you call said, as an owner, I believe I agree with what uh, what Elder said last night. As an owner, she's failed this team, and I would know that I'm a Bulls fan, and I've seen sure. Jerry Jackson make horrible. This they got they lose Jordan. Yeah, the Bulls they, notorious for, for, they, for fucking. They, they, think about this: they lost Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman for absolutely no players, and they and they was surprised they struggled for like fifteen or twenty years after that. You give that's up that shit. I, be, I hate man that slave shit. People don't want to say it's no. that, but he he, ch- he chose Jerry Krause over Phil Jackson. That's what the owner did. My way or the highway shit. shit it, 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 instead of giving letting letting that man run this team, you know, let him let him run it like he does as the coach, getting the best people in play. And Jerry Krause had that big ego. At least y'all GM. It's not ridiculous with the ego in the Lakers. The man's still humble. You know, you can talk about Polino, but he does not have this oh. iron fist thing. Polinka like that. Soft. Yeah, yeah, but Polinka problem is sometimes when you when you quiet, you stay in a lot. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like that that that's his problem. When you have a certain seat and you have power, or let's not say he has the power. When you have a title, you have to let your nuts hang. You're doing a disservice to your to your job to the organization by by just not letting your nuts hang. Just that simple. It ain't about yeah. having power over LeBron or whatever. It's just doing your job and yeah. let the and, chips and they, fall where they fall. And this is the thing is like we say, like we're not gonna put all this on Bron because Bron is not the GM of that team. You know what I mean? That's what I think. He's not There's the people GM. that think he is right. So, oh, so, so that's what I know. A lot of people we're gonna, we gonna give Bron some, some, uh, okay, Bron, you know, he chose the wrong friend, he chose the wrong guy, you know, it was just that was a bad choice, whatever. Why you keep well, saying not, that though? But I'm saying that Russ was the third bad. option, he chose the Rosen, the Lakers didn't pull the trigger. No, he wanted Dame, then the Rosen, and then he Russ wanted Dame in the right? He, yeah, he but he Bron, 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 Bron wanted Steph Curry. He wanted the to Rosen Bron said he want to play with every best player. That's why Bron, you know, Bron want to play with the best. Yeah, okay, so, that's not relevant because he don't play. He know, come on, you know, you know, Steph and y'all are gonna play. He wanted the Dangerous Rosen and, 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 and that order to get, get but broken he knew down. Dame he just make these Dame far Lillard. out narrative. Dame Lillard play with that. Then he wanted the Rosen. The Rosen said um, that you know he was he was all in according to reports. Said the same thing, but then. And, but listen, listen, this is why I hate Jeannie Bus because they had a chance to salvage the season with Wall and Woods. And I heard that shit got declined a little over a month ago. See, stuff like that, I'm sorry, she needs to get the hell out of office. Because somebody said, oh, if she, if somebody, somebody said a while ago, if she leaves, she's, she's killing her dad's legacy. What the fuck? She's already killing you now. Why, why she's but, in office? Well, I think all, see, all, see, just like get the rose in the heart, is even, she ain't going nowhere. She don't want to the Lakers. I know. She's going to go with the good and the bad. She's not going nowhere. I know. No time soon. So that's just, you can throw that, you can throw that one away. Until it ain't she's bad. probably gone. That's just a fact. <laughs> she ain't what, going nowhere. What the Bulls see that in the East right now? They still like, uh, they above, because Cleveland keep kind of losing, so they stuck at like fourth, I think. They put themselves in good position. This, this is what uh, Trevor Lay was talking about. Like you put yourself in the position when the game you supposed to win, 
So yeah. when you go through your lows, you even you still like a five or six. You feel right. right. Like a right. Run. Makes... You you shot yourself in the foot. Now you right. got no room to wiggle. Right. So. And they it was just we couldn't keep it. Look, ball couldn't stay healthy. And that just and then and guards just t- we do great with the rookie, but he a rookie. You yeah, know, I'm so sad for Lonzo Ball, man. Why? He just can't stay healthy. That's my God. But we, um, but I was saying about, uh, I don't think like with Rob Palenka, even like I said, we'll say, okay, this ain't, a, I can't put it all on. Think about the position Rob Palenka in, stuck between Jeannie Buzz, the Rambuses, Magic Johnson. Then, you know, you got a great player like LeBron. You, you trying to please all these people. Like you said, if he just gonna say, "Look, I got power. I'm doing what I want to," he gonna halfway he gonna halfway appeal to everybody. He gonna make everybody mad. But this is why I don't blame Palinka because he casually was blaming Palinka. I'm saying see, most Laker, most Laker fans, hold on, most Laker fans don't know basketball. Mm-hmm. And and two things, they're all their emotions are up and down. They're spoiled for one. They don't. They're not educated. But hold on, Palinka, I don't blame him much for this because he tried to get the Woods and Wall deal. It, right. it, it was it was exactly so so he knows basketball on some level, but Gene Buston and then the Ramesses apparently they did de- they declined. So it's like I don't know how great Palinka really is because he he he's pretty much got his hands tied behind his back. And the piggyback off of you, okay, Palinka was good when Magic was in office too as a console and as a help when Magic it just went crazy. Same thing, Jason Kidd vote. He looked at good when kids one person. I run a stock group. Yeah, it's a CEO of the company, but I have all the influence. I get all the people in. I bring the which, money. People are like, oh, why are you I'm which, doing all the work? So, which is yeah, why I know which is how why things get happen. You have happen to ask like a question. That. I said it before uh, a few days and last week. I said they're they're trying to tarnish the Lakers or maybe LeBron for whatever reason because you took all. Listen, you took away his lucrative, his most lucrative piece. You took away Jason Kidd. You 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 you, you decline Woods and Wall. So the people in Jeannie Buss' ear making all the, the worst decisions for what? And then also, you didn't give him Tyron Luke, which, you know what I'm saying? So you're not giving him any of the help that would be lucrative for LeBron. It's like That's Phil what Jackson, I said on the one Phil Jackson what did and, and the Ramesses are, are trying to – this is what I'm saying. And I hate that LeBron went to L.A. Once again, should have gone to Philly because I don't – I don't hate it because the I one do. thing – about the GOAT conversation that I always love about LeBron's story, bro. I know Jordan was six for six. He under he didn't have to fight back, whatever, but Jordan had his years when he couldn't win in the eighties or whatever. But when he got his era, them dudes left, whatever, he dominated. Okay. One thing about LeBron, he always come out on top. So people dogged him after that Lonzo season. Oh, trade him all the way. He got in. Remember that? Nobody thought he would ever win a chip after that Lakers season. What? And this this is why I hate Laker saying? fans too. Most Laker they, fans because... all Hollywood. He went there movies, but he got from all that whole narrative that that summer came and won the chip, bro. But, but here's what I hate about he Laker went, fans. It's always a narrative he can't get over, and he gets over but it. Here's what I hate about Laker fans. Superstar have to go through that, bro. Here's what I hate about Laker fans. They're like Cowboy yeah. fans because listen, when when he <laughs> went there, hold on, listen. All these people were sitting when he got hurt. They, they they were mad. Okay, he got hurt. They was in the fourth seed, and then when exactly. he went out, on, the, hold on, let me finish. Out. Hold on, let me finish. The, then they started to just slide. Okay, and then they were saying, "Oh, we got to give it Alonzo Ball." All these players in that moment, right? Instead, instead of having a, a, a long distance mentality. So okay, okay. Then the next year they win the championships. So they're like they're praising the move and getting rid of those guys. And then okay, last year was a wash, whatever. And then now all of a sudden hindsight everybody's a genius now. So they're saying, oh, we should have kept the young guys. All these dumbass, <laughs> all, all these punk-ass Laker fans are, are saying, oh, we should have kept those guys. Hold up, you got to stop branding Texas. it all Laker Texas. fans and Texas. shit. Texas, that like, was some oh, Braun fans too. Guys. That wasn't just Laker fans. That was a lot of yeah, Braun no, that was some Braun. Yeah. Hold on, but the majority were Laker you fans. You got to realize no, most of these niggas is that. Kobe fans. Okay. We've we seen too. them do the same thing at yeah. Cleveland, bro. It's, it's Kobe know, fans. Can Cleveland. I can give you the He's time right. It's, 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 it's Kobe Texas. fans. He's right. It is Kobe fans. Like, hold on. No, a fans. Lot of LeBron They've been giving LeBron, LeBron most of the problems since he got to L.A. That's true. No, a lot, a lot of Bron fans, uh, they believe they were doing the same thing. They believe in – look what they what? were doing at Cleveland. Trade the what? whole team. 
Come on now, that's not a narrative started but by hold on, but, but bro, but, but hold on. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on, loyalty, loyalty. Before you go, loyalty. Kyrie hold on, before you go, loyalty. Wait, 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 wait. But the Cavaliers stay loyal to LeBron, the fan base, even the, the, the those hard time in 2017. They were still sticking by his side. These these, these bitch ass punk ass not 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 Kareem, but these, these punk ass Laker fans. A lot of them, Kobe fans. Are, are, are the main ones that want to put all the blame and they act like this. Watch this, your mouth. Kareem's a Kobe on. guy. Don't no, 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 no. I like Kareem. I'm just, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I'm not, no, no, I'm not dissing Kobe. I'm saying the Kobe fans, I'm saying most of them were, uh, but but y'all act like y'all haven't gone through the dark ages in uh, 20, 2013, 2014, 2015, 16, but it was all good though. I don't feel bro, the dark we, we ages. Seen, we That's seen the Cleveland fans. We seen them trade the whole they team to Cleveland, it. brother. That ain't and got nothing no, to do with No, you didn't, bro. You, what you say, say what it was. I do not point. those post-Kobe years. At That's all. not my exactly point, what bro. happened in Cleveland. Don't That's not my point. The Cavaliers, hold on. The Cavaliers still stick stuck by LeBron bro. in 2017 bro. when things were looking bad, though. 2018. Yes, they did. In Texas, the Cleveland Cavaliers have ran their course. They, they would have ran their course. They was done. It was just LeBron. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying to bring him away. No, I'm just addressing the trade, the whole team. Yeah. Thing. They had yeah. Isaiah, Way, all of D. The Rose. Rose. Come on, bro. Way, That's yeah. not trading. Crowder. That's a team midseason moves. If it work, it work. If it don't. No, I'm not saying it. I'm saying move. that that was the criticism back then. LeBron would trade. All right. He, so that he was, was 2018. But that was from non-Cat fans, though, not – that was from just the uh, people, the, uh, the, the media narratives and stuff. And then, but, listen, but, but that's what people, I'm saying. That, that that's yeah. not that's that's not. Don't say Laker fans or Kobe fans invented that narrative. So no, no, I didn't say they did that. No, I didn't say they did that. Oh no, no, no! I didn't say they did that. But but they bolstered that narrative though. Because listen, a lot of these Kobe fans. I understand Kobe was great, but my only thing is, is that I think because they're so in love with one guy. They have this 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 staunch bias towards the other guy coming in, like sure. like, Le, like LeBron fans, brother. That's like the pot calling the kettle black. But but like, hold explain. on, Texas. What year did LeBron go to the Lakers? 2019, 2018. Right? No, 2018. July first, 2018. Yeah. He signed. Okay, 2018 so season. after the 20, 2018 season, we knew what that was. He carried them finals. They lost. 2019. What was the narrative when well, he came to LA? When he came to the West? Anybody remember? 2018 when he came over. Yeah, you know they were. Yeah. What, what many was the narrative, narrative third in the West for you? They no, were skeptical. What was the narrative, though? Do y'all remember? It's many, it's many narratives. All right, name them. I think they were skeptical. Le, Le, LeBron is guaranteed to win a chip. Nope, that wasn't it. Huh? Niggas that was saying the he West. He can't was... win in the West. They said he yeah, can't win that's LeBron. What, that's, what, that was, that's one narrative. Was no, that, like was that was the main narrative. That was the main narrative. His whole career in the East. That's one narrative. That was a major. LeBron won a chip. Huh? LeBron's going to win a chip out here. I didn't and hear that. Thing, nah, you know, nobody said that. Bro. Nobody it was like he came to LA for movies. From movies. He was retiring yeah. from movies. Yep. Yeah. Hey, remember they all that. They when said LeBron, LeBron was going to be done by 35 or what year, 36. Yeah, they said the end of his career. No, and remember, okay, we're in 2022. He's still going stronger than ever. Remember when Ingram was at free throw line? And, oh, he wasn't in LA. He was in other cities. They were screaming. Like LeBron's Ingram, going to no, trade they were screaming, "LeBron going to trade you," and it wasn't in L.A. It was other shit. But wait, no, but hold on. So, Here's the so, thing. So hold wait. on, Texas. Let me. The finish cash fan. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so, so that was that. He debunked that that year, right? Didn't they become like the third or fourth seed? Or huh? was it yep. the next? They were the fourth seed until he got hurt. Yeah, in twenty eighteen, he was the first. third. Yeah. The third, the third or fourth, fourth seed don't count in yeah. January. That don't count for nothing. But he got hurt. <laughs> He got hurt. He, he had a growing injury. Yeah, like, what, don't count for, games. January schedule don't count for nothing, brother. He, he went really out with twenty something games, whatever. He he showed he could dominate the West. He would have he would have been a running for MVP. Following year, they got the so ring. What's next year? Twenty nineteen. They got the ring that year. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Got said January game. don't count. He what does. Happened 20, what happened the next <laughs> season? Yeah, they got the ring in that following year. That's crazy. How how they get the ring? He traded all the players. Okay, Remember? that's. I mean, it, it still wasn't that, hard. It still but, but, wasn't but, hard that, because what was the narrative that, after that? After that but, trade, Kawhi, we, we and Kawhi did the sneaky shit and didn't go there, so everybody thought it was the Clippers. Mm -hmm. All these new Clippers fans, Kawhi, who not around Kawhi had the commercial, now, commercial. Not around now. He's the new king in town. They choked the in the favorite. bubble. They was mm -hmm. the favorite in L.A. They choked. Yeah. LeBron and them won. 
They would have they would have favors to some people. Most other people no, were not favors to the world. Go watch. No, they were not. No, they journalism. were not. What? They were not the favorites of the world. Yeah, they was a favorite from yeah. Vegas. Oh, hold on, yeah, they was a favorite. It was a favorite, was a favorite for most of the media. Yeah. 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 is yeah. not the world. He is no, not no. the world. They I think the majority of the media. Of oh, Vegas. They said when the media had, had had the they were not favorites. Wait a minute. It was between the Clippers and the Lakers. I mean, uh, in that, terms of who was going to make it, it was, it was like those two teams. That was yeah, it. but that the was Kawhi the year they was. Moved. The narrative created like he trumped LeBron. Yeah, that, that, was, at all that was the year they were saying Kawhi. PG and Kawhi was the best defensive duo. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they were saying all. Yeah, they were saying that, but, but also remember that oh. nobody never had PG doing shit in no playoffs. They did not trust him, so they but picked. Also, they didn't over trust him. AD. They didn't trust. They, they didn't had, even know he had a better AD health, bro. bro. AD reputation was better than. We didn't know AD health. He had I know, forced his way out of New Orleans. His reputation, he was, a AD his reputation he was better than. First round. His, but his reputation hey. was better then. It ain't. It ain't true. It's but just, but most most it got, was a bigger Kyle, story because AD Kawhi was, was supposed to go play speed. with them and he didn't. He held out and he changed on LeBron. And last the media, game. the media so was saying that they created the, the villain media. between them. Yeah. You feel me? The media, mm-hmm. the media was saying the Lakers don't want to see the Clippers for all that for that entire yep. 2019 year. And then guess that's, what? Clippers, that's Phil Baylor's dumbass. No, nah. most of the media didn't. Most it of the media the had the most media. of the media never. It was skip, never that far. Every time they match, but the people ran with the narrative though. Like, I remember all y'all talk, y'all talking about Skip Bayless and some of the haters. No, I'm a lot not. of the I'm media. About they the did not. The media. I, I watched it. A lot of the media still had Braun. They never bet against Braun, brother. They have they, 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 maybe, maybe like was, a few the few Lakers or the Clippers. They had went going all the way. One of those two teams, but they, yeah, they had one of those two teams. Especially you know when the when the bubble hit, everything reset. Then nobody know then what shit was. A lot of guys like Giannis didn't even have a rim at his house. No. So, it, so listen, that's so, how I know it was. Because the media, the media, the media, the media start picking right whatever team the bubble, they got the right best before the bubble, LeBron. LeBron. Remember, remember, remember that same year, Patrick. Patrick I mean, the Clippers ripped were the LeBron favorite down though. the end. Remember but, in the clutch, he ripped them at the end of the they game. They said it was the Clippers or LA Lakers. About the Clippers. Yeah. Yeah, but right before the bubble, they played the Clippers and they played Milwaukee back to back. LeBron yeah, dominated over weekend. them. They had good games, but they beat them back to back. Yeah, it was in March. What in March? Yeah, that was, was when we LeBron to took out. He was taking the MVP, and they still gave it to Giannis. He showed he outplayed both of them, and they won both the back to back. Hold on, hold on, extreme. No, no, you know the Clippers were the favorite, but I'm saying to come out of the West, they said it's gonna definitely be the Clippers, or if not the Clippers, it's gonna be the Lakers. So those right. that was all the talk. That was a fact. They were yeah, saying that, that, the yeah, Clippers right. were gonna beat them because remember yeah, they, all they the did. Bible moves. All Some the said that. Not everybody getting. said that. Guy. They said LeBron didn't right, want to see the Clippers. They the said good, LeBron didn't want to see the Clippers. Clippers was the deepest team. Talking about Clippers Skip was playing the best. No, that's Skip Bayless. Shannon Sharp no, never not wasn't just, no Skip Bayless. Bro. Shannon is a LeBron Everybody. fan, so he's Nick, not going to see that. Nick Wright never said that. Stephen A. said didn't say he's a LeBron Nick Wright fan. Is but Nick, he's not going to say that. Stephen A. didn't say Chris that. Chris Boussard was saying that Rob Parker the Clippers was saying that the board, shit, bro. Yeah, Rob Parker was saying that Nick, LeBron. Nick Wright was saying the Lakers. No, and he's a LeBron fan. Like, on LeBron's side his whole career. Nick said the Lakers. People who have been on LeBron's side their whole career, they switched. Who? Who? He just was Stephen A. Said, Stephen A. said the Clippers are going to probably get it. Uh, at the beginning Bussard, of the season. The world, bro. I seen no. so many Clippers fans. It was ridiculous. Right. No, that it wasn't. Clippers. Come on now. All right, bro. Trust me. Come on now. No, that ain't. Y'all talking to me here, bro. But and, and, y'all, and y'all do remember that basketball. Kawhi needed to play a lot that whole that, that, se- that season. He was sitting on his ass. Ooh. Well, they, they did not. They, they were like, man, come on now. Kawhi not even playing a lot of games. You crazy? Every yeah, time he played Clippers LeBron, Bucks. they yeah. won. And they were saying LeBron was backing down. He didn't want to DM, remember? You don't remember the Clippers, all that? Didn't, didn't the Clippers lose the last two games in the regular they season? They lost the yeah. last game to them, the, the game I just told you. But before that, they was dominating the Lakers. They won two games. Yeah. And they, they barely was, won those. It was dominant. It was winning the They barely series, won those. Right? They was winning they, the they didn't blow the Lakers and they was out. And the narrative out. was we wasn't ready for the Clippers. That was I'm gonna tell y'all that was a narrative by a few people, but most oh, people still the had the program. Lakers winning it, especially when the bubble happened. We no, all know no. Lakers was gonna win it because they were the most prepared. I no. mean, we're saying pre like, like like for me, pre-bubble, everybody was saying, like, you know, 2019, that, that calendar year, like you know, when the season was it was starting and in, in midway. And then this this dude told me, Oh, the Lakers have no chance. I said, Okay, we can bet on that. And then he exactly. said that he lost. I mean, 
Okay, but yeah, but everybody, hold on, everybody knew that, that the bubble was going to probably favor a guy like an AD who who was always hobbled to get back, mm-hmm. hopefully. But 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 before the hold on, before the bubble, all the way to that point, the Clippers were the favorite for everybody. Exactly. Well, not, 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 not everybody. I'm just you know what I'm saying. But like, the majority. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, the majority. majority. Yeah, that's that's my only point. It wasn't everybody. A lot of the it big the majority. Trainers, they never, they never. They never. Everybody. I said like, about even to, 70%. Even to this day, it took the, it took the Lakers to lose. They still had the Lakers as the favorite before this 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 how uh, All Star break. It takes a lot for people to root against LeBron when you see him go ten times in a row. Y'all you know, know what's I mean? funny though? You know what's funny? But uh, hold on, I, I saw like a, a week and a half ago, ten day, ten days ago, they still had the Lakers as the number seven fake favorite amongst all teams. Now I don't know what it is now, mm-hmm. but they had number seven uh, ten days ago of all mm-hmm. teams to still go to the finals. So that's kind of weird. Which is ten days ago. Though. It ain't weird because they got they got yeah, LeBron. They're gonna, they gonna, they gonna bet on they gonna bet on Bron. These guys yeah. too little for Bron. They too the little. If you can get the other guys to play right, you can do that most guys But LeBron, a healthy playing, dropping fifty six without AD, it's not a winner for one month. No, but they 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 assuming AD coming back, and you know when when AD back. If AD get, if AD get twenty five, Bron don't need Bron don't need no, to get the ball. AD can play two games in a row without being hurt. Get the points. Right. Listen, that. if God can work a miracle for AD to where AD can just be healthy for the remainder of the season, I mean, and then I don't know what the hell's AD happening with none. Trouble. What the fuck is happening with none, bro? Oh, like, no. if, but none, anyway, yeah, but, uh, that upset. Yeah, by the end of the month, he's supposed to be like getting oh, reevaluated. My yes, hold on, hold on. Reevaluated. Listen, I think I'm listen. Oh, none reevaluated. Is, is that good or bad to y'all? What's it? That's, that's, that's bad. bad. I think he's playing by the by he's a re-evaluation. Be back that's, by a, that's very bad. Okay. Okay, but listen, listen, listen. If you got the health, if AD, if God could just work a miracle for AD's body and he can stay with the remainder of the season, and then you got LeBron and then whatever else you can give him the supporting cast, yeah, like Mo, like loyalty said, they could they could still make this happen. It got to happen, so. Texas. LeBron is the only superstar that never got a benefit from none of those no catastrophic injuries to win the chip. Even Kawhi benefited from it. Come on, can LeBron benefit and get healthy? <laughs> and somebody get injured? Come on, you yeah, yeah, yeah. not laugh, but it's serious. No, we, I'm laughing because Stranger Things have happened. You know, yeah, because it. all the people who won championships beside LeBron benefited from that in this in this little sample last five ten years. Not him yeah. though. Niggas is just healthy versus him. Oh yeah, Army. <laughs> But Steph, if the year they won and won 2015, he ain't play against one starting guard that whole playoff run. That's crazy. It, it wouldn't have mattered. He'd have torched them too. No, he wouldn't have. Because Kyrie what do you mean? Had, had his number that year. Kyrie Hold on. What, what, wait, wait. 2015? Steph didn't yeah, torch anybody. Terrible. Steph, was, Steph was getting torched <laughs> by, by Della What are you talking about? Yeah. He, he didn't get played by no Delavadova. Yes, he did. Get out of here. Want, <laughs> sure. Draymond oh, Wait a minute. Are y'all kidding me? Go back yeah, and watch it. Was. In games, Del Vado put up 22 on him, and then the he following year, he had like 16. He was locking his ass and down, ripping him and everything. Yeah, that ain't no torture. I mean, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, sir. You don't hold on. You don't let a dude of his caliber destroy you in a one on one match. That was 2015, though. 2015, yes. How much? How much Steph score? How much Steph score on him? Steph lost. He had like less than 20 in that same game. Yeah, hell of a. That oh, tells you how they, 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 they won. 17 in that entire series. What, yes, I think what the Lakers won. The Lakers won three games that, that uh, series. What are we talking about? No, this is the Cavs and the Warriors, bro. This is 2015. Uh, I mean, basketball with er- Earl Manigault. No, the, the Cavs won three games that season. How many games? <laughs> three. Did they win three? What do you mean? They, they, no, that they, series, they, they, they got two. That series. Yeah, that series. How many? But hold, on, hold on. Let's not forget, though. No, Draymond Green could still shoot for some reason when he was younger. In 20, no, I'm, know, ask, I'm, I'm asking because I'm 4K TVs is too clear. Clay Thompson. You, you had uh, TV, the, the, uh, Sean Livingston. Barbosa could still do something. Going on. Now, Curry yeah. played bad that series, bro. He played awful. He didn't play awful. Yes, he did. Oh my you know, god! Most people don't be watching these games, bro. I'm telling y'all. Are you lying? Well, smoking so dope. I watched the series. He didn't Who's play lying, this. I, he, he didn't. I said most. For his standards, he did not. He, he played did terrible. Not, he, oh, he did not. See, this is what this most what most you do. wrong again. This is what Steph don't do. Steph don't step up his level. And that series no, in the his game. level dropped off substantially from the third exactly. round. Go look it up, man. Just I mean, like 
but he didn't step up his level. He still like averaged the whole James Harden thing. You know, he ever 17. We're telling you, he ever, I think, 17, 2015. For the finals. series. Wait, what series, series was that? I believe. Hold on, let me see. Let me no, no. Look it up. You, I I think he still got his 20. Don't just make it throw okay, number. Right. Come on, brother. All right, just look it up so we can get the facts. He played terrible. You though, most, most, I'm just letting you know. No, I don't no, care please, what he ended up with. He played this is my thing. Y'all y'all go, nah, y'all go from up, terrible, bro. either terrible or great. It gotta be an he, in-between. His efficiencies were still bad yeah, though. Like, 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 oh, like, it wasn't like the whole James Harden. Harden no. Let's say the whole it James Harden was terrible. terrible his efficiency standards. Thank you. That's what I said for his standards. Terrible. 20, he had a bad efficiency the entire for the most of the series, bro. Yeah. Like, hold on, hold on. Most most we agree about James Harden, right? About his efficiencies. Oh, but he still got hold on. But okay, he got twenty, which is actually below his standards that season. The envy fucking right, it, it, right. His efficiency and, and, and was you, terrible. And again, y'all talking, not listening. I didn't say he played uh, good. I didn't say he played great. And you're not listening. I said, I said, I said for I his said standards, he, he did not I play, he, play he, bad. He and so he wasn't terrible. Is my only point. He wasn't standards. terrible. Okay. He wasn't terrible. To his standards. For his standards, he played awful. No, and this is the play. thing, most he didn't, he didn't this is why awful. I know you a hater. It's been, it's no, been I'm a hater when I it, said it, it's been play. times LeBron he didn't play good, but he one didn't play both terrible. teams and every oh, stat and y'all say he played terrible. That's what no. I don't understand. No, my thing is, have you I ever heard, you ain't never heard me say like when Le, like when LeBron and Dallas series you never heard Houston, LeBron he had played he had a triple double the other night. Y'all said he played terrible. LeBron played Who? terrible in 2011. I agree with that one. I'm a real but see, I don't say terrible, but this is my point. I don't say he played terrible. He just didn't elevate his game. Like two, three, four, four, so four, I'm, four, so four. I'm, that's all I'm saying is he didn't. Wait I'm minute, not saying bro. he played. Most, most, can I say this though? Hold on. Can I say this, y'all? Hold on. I love LeBron, but you can't. I'm, I'm not a LeBron sexual. But here, hold on. You average all. You average like what? On 26, 27 points. Uh, the series prior when you played the Bulls, your efficiency went down uh, a good amount when you played the Mavericks, and then, and then your points per game dropped by almost ten points. That's terrible. Same thing with James Harden. Yeah. We, we, we debated this last week. James Harden, same thing. I told okay, you I changed the narrative got... for different people. No, no, no. I, I, didn't, change I, didn't, I didn't change my I'm narrative. Going, going going right steady, I'm steady. I'm listening close because of that. Because I say he don't play too. terrible? I'm steady with my with my, if my thing. I, 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 I did not I did if not we change the same narrative. logic and numbers. It's terrible. No, brother. You don't listen. That's what you don't do. I said that he don't come up big in big games. I did not say... Wait, who's that, was, this? That, was, that was Harden. I did not yeah, say no, he Harden played doesn't. terrible for the series. Yeah. No, he didn't. Play, no, we didn't say he played terrible, that. bro. I he never said. said our whole argument was he did not show up. And I, most I got, most I, bottom I line homework. end of discussion of all this, the Bulls will never win another chip. <laughs> now you most of Domas. You you just said you just, and, I, and I told you beginning <laughs> of the season, and I told you beginning of the season that the Lakers. <laughs> who take you to the finals, bro? But listen, wrong. listen, wrong LeBron then came and got LA a chip before before Mark. the Bulls got one. They ain't the seen it since Jordan. What chip? You talking about that bubble chip, bro? Come on now. Oh, don't boast is. on that. <laughs> don't boast on that Disney chip. Oh, the bullshit. <laughs> they need nah, like, <laughs> Don't boast on don't boast the bubble I chip. The hater always come out when he loses but the argument. You the hater. You go from a team the Bulls to LeBron came and did this. That niggas love moving yeah, yeah, He got a chip. The Bulls yeah, don't. Bro. Uh, say the Lakers won a chip. You can't do that. You Y'all can't say Jordan won a chip all the time. Then Kobe, no, I mean, LeBron got more chips than LeBron this, won a this. chip before the Bulls did. He got, no, because LeBron personally got more <laughs> chips than a lot of organizations <laughs> playing right now. You, the Bulls will never win a chip. You think I'm gonna be like ten years now? Like, oh, the Bulls got he's been in the league. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. <laughs> And yo, uh, how many chips uh, Bro got the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers? He got him a nice more one. than more than the Bulls got. He got one. Now nah, Bulls got six. I bro. hope the Bulls, Bulls got six. six my no, I'm talking about since Jordan. Well, they got six. Nah, we talk about and since the Cleveland Jordan. Cavaliers got one from Bron. Hey, the Jordan Lakers got Bulls seventeen, six. right? Cleveland, uh, Cleveland gave. I mean, Bron gave Cleveland one. Their first he chip. Miami two. And he got a bubble chip in L.A. But Who that, gave Chicago their first you. chip? Yo, you a hater, bro. Nate Archibald did. Okay, so hey, Jordan can't say he did that. Sorry. <laughs> All his home. No, Nate time. Archibald didn't win no chip in <laughs> Mike ain't never win no chip for his hometown. What, North Carolina? Yeah. Raleigh? The Bronx? Nah, he from Brooklyn. Yeah, he from Brooklyn. He, yeah, Brooklyn. He's born in Brooklyn. Most, most don't know nothing, man. 
You, you, he ain't win a chip for Brooklyn for New York. Please, no, never. Talking about. He ain't playing New York. Never bro. gonna win one in Charlotte as an owner, neither. You, you you do you do know that uh LeBron mm-hmm. not from uh Cleveland, right? And LeBron gonna yeah, win a he was, he LeBron was gonna win a Akron, chip. Okay, then he went one for his hometown. Too. He didn't win one for his hometown. All right, let me tell you this. Kobe, close Kobe's enough. Doing man. fire stuff. Too <laughs> <laughs> not, close, not close enough. <laughs> Yo, I know Kobe <laughs> was doing great things off the court, right? Like let me tell you was another one who had influence let me tell you like Tatum, hey, Jason hey, Tatum, and all these players. His Brian, Brian Academy, never, Kobe was Brian never, the game, bro. They Brian never went shit. in another chip. Hmm? Brian never went in another chip. All right, we're gonna hold hey, it. You Bulls said that before the bubble. Hey, can y'all hear me? Hey. Can y'all hear me? We hear you now. Okay. You said that when it came to LA. No, no, I did. Yeah, you did. I did the whole world did. You know, you read, you know the whole world, huh? Yeah. Don't I put me in. Don't put me in the mind of these I'm other in media. Don't put me in the mind of these other. I ain't nothing like I ain't nothing like nobody you ever knew before, brother. Huh? I ain't nothing like nobody you ever knew. Yeah, I know. You a lot you like these old papers for your that, media. I know. That hate LeBron. I don't hate LeBron. Yo, you still read a newspaper and drink a coffee, bro. You can't, you can't <laughs> and eating grits. That's a fact. <laughs> and, and, and y'all don't like talking about shit y'all don't know. Eating grits. <laughs> you niggas look at y'all look clubby <laughs> ass grits. Uh, Watching Matt Lock in uh, Matt Lock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> with his fucking robe on and his fucking. <laughs> And y'all, y'all niggas roll over and get on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. Oh, the towel, the, oh, the wet towel Twitter, on his bro. head, folded up on his head. Twitter. That's funny. Some young dudes who roll over go on Instagram and argue about shit y'all ain't never I seen. I don't get on Instagram. I, I laugh at y'all. I laugh at y'all. I don't got y'all, Instagram. I got no children Twitter. y'all age, so it's funny to hear y'all talk. I don't use it like that. Neither one of them. I got children y'all age, so it's funny to hear y'all talk. I, mm-hmm. I I forgot more shit about you basketball. got children my age, age, but I'm still I'm still wise. I forgot no more shit about you basketball you ever knew. You've been wrong all your loyalty. You I know more than you. You embarrass yourself from sight. Every sight. Laker been every We're Laker fan kids. been wrong all year. Who's been Instead right? Of that, yo, debate right <laughs> now. Then. I've been right. What you been right about? The team would be bombs. Well, was, right. was you right about your team? Yeah, I was right. What you what you say? So they're gonna do all right. I don't hear you oh, say shit about the Bulls, yo. I'm starting to believe you really ain't a Bulls fan, bro. <laughs> He's definitely not. I'll I be on Bulls channel talking he about was, Bulls. He was a Clippers I'm fan over here a couple to, I come years over here ago. To he was a Golden State fan. I come over here to shit on and the Lakers. I fan. said that when I first popped up. Yeah, I'm a Pacer fan or some shit. Whoever, whoever LeBron played against, that's, that's what he's a fan of. Yeah, I was going to say that because uh, you know what? Hold on. Early in the season, whenever the Lakers lost, he was the first one on the panel. He was ready to come off. Mm-hmm. No, I was I was the first one. I always came. I let y'all cook for a couple hours because I didn't want to crack. You were well, you nah, ready, every loss. You couldn't every wait loss, to get on. Be right on. I, I, you all know I let y'all go for a while. Then I come on and man, that nigga jump and right. Then don't have no good points. Talk talking about, about the Isaiah Thomas ankles. Come on, bro. And these broad sexuals. I killed, you, I killed you about that old debate, dude. Like I saying know, how I Isaiah Thomas backed up everything I said when we had that argument about you that they shit. was out the game and all that. He he broke. He you said everything think I when said. You keep talking, you're gonna be right eventually. You just throw shit out there. But no, it. everything I said, Isaiah said about them old days with Jordan. Isaiah is your source. <laughs> no, but if we if we the same, no, if you we didn't say the same thing at the same time, and I knew my stuff, and he said it later, like recently, it has that's to have some validity, right? Even even players play with Isaiah's laughing at Isaiah. What he but doing? But who are you? You most most. I'm definitely gonna believe most most over Isaiah Thomas. Exactly. The nigga no. who eat grits and and, and <laughs> yeah, but your mama eat grits. So you, have, you don't like grits? Don't your mama still eat grits? Not grits. That's slavery. What y'all got to do with that grits? Bro. We don't eat slavery food no more, man. We 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 literate over here. Eat slavery food. You from Texas? You know y'all like that lot. Come on now. I don't watch Madlock anymore. No, I don't watch that shit. No, you say anymore. You know you used to watch Madlock when I was like seven. Yeah, because my my granny, my granny used to watch it. Yeah, and I, I never, never watched watch that. That, 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 that is a slave show. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I get my slave, but I never watched that. At least they watched that. I don't watch 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 that.
Yeah, Get most most watch right. Happy Days. You watch Happy yeah, Days. Yeah, we, we say Happy Days. Damn, that was in the 80s. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Get my generation right. <laughs> you don't know nothing about this new generation and what's going on, most moments. Brother, I have children. I birthed y'all generation. It don't I matter. Birthed, I birthed y'all. I was, I was on the internet before all y'all. No, you wasn't. I was developing a computer before all y'all. What are you talking about? So, so what's Web 3.0? We had the vision to get this shit that y'all enjoying. Web 3.0 then? I don't know about that. You had all this shit. What, what's COBOL? What's Pascal? What's the what's, what's the blockchain? We just had to write this shit by hand in school. What? The y'all code? Had that easy shit. What, coding? We developed this shit. So what are you talking about? Nah. I was working on computers when I was in the third grade, brother. Nah, them so computers ain't. Them disc. computers have <laughs> nothing on today, bro. Real floppy disk, loyalty. Not, not no hard, a floppy disk. Yeah, disc. you out yeah, I remember the floppy disk. Things. things have elevated since then. What does that tell you? Exactly. exactly. And we because we wanted y'all to have a better future, but y'all shit on the past. Nah, we don't still was a minute ago, but won't you? It's still a choice though to elevate what already been put exactly. in the place. We love to see y'all elevated. We want nah, to see. He want to stay stuck in the grits era. He don't niggas got flash drive, what happened before. Like y'all, y'all gonna shit on grits, man. Come on now, you know your, your family grew up on grits. No, I said you from the grits <laughs> era. <laughs> hey, he he had the grits. Wait, how y'all gonna on, shit? On, on. Wait, why you gonna shit on Andy Griffin? Hold on, most most used to eat the the grits with the with the black uh, hard nah, bean but, coffee. But this the thing, Eddie Griffin. Go look him up on YouTube. No, he not too. Not Eddie Griffin. I'm talking. <laughs> Andy Griffin. He's talking about Andy, Andy Griffin. Griffin. Oh my God. How you going to shit on Andy Griffin, man? I don't watch that bullshit. talking about more uh, old TV. You used to watch it in the heat of the night. <laughs> my father used to watch that shit. Uh, How y'all going to shit on uh, Archie Bunker, man? Come on now. Magnum P.I. Welcome, Garrett. Or whatever you say. <laughs> I feel bad for you, most, most, man. You had bad entertainment. No, you, you, you feel bad for yourself it. because you nah, don't know you what you talk about. I love bro. Lucy and shit. That's oh, man, that's terrible. Y'all don't know the, what y'all talk about. Singing in the rain. Nah, because your brain is stuck. <laughs> Brother, y'all always reaching back to see what's happening in the past. I don't reach back. And it's predictable. Talk. Y'all always talk about something bad, something this. I don't some uh, Y'all new young whippersnappers don't know it. Come on now. What? What we don't know? Come at y'all like that. Y'all always start with the bullshit. We too advanced. Because y'all disrespect. You know, you're not advanced, brother. Too advanced, bro. You're not advanced. Tell me what you advanced in. Everything. Especially not your basketball take. We talking basketball. Definitely right? my basketball you, takes. You're so generic, it don't make no sense. Yeah, right. You still thinking that they start DJing them 